Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to another episode of Rant and Bollocks. We've got, uh, well we've got both of us here because, you know, it, doesn't work it wouldn't be an episode yeah. otherwise. But uh, We should no. try that. One week you do one and one week I'll do one. You just don't say anything. It's like, hello. Or I'll just, um, no, we'll both be here but I'll just cut one of the tracks. <laughs> so you can only, you're just talking to yourself going, yeah, yeah. You've got okay, some good yeah. experience of doing the cutting, of, you know. I don't know what you're talking about. Rigging I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's the week been for you, man? It's been a good week. Yeah. yeah. We got to check out Logan last week. Oh, mate. Logan. We haven't had a chance to talk about it. It's been a busy it. week, actually. It's been like Logan. There's been uh, the Switch. The Nintendo console came out. Yep. Uh, I got my PS4. finally got the PS4. Yeah, it has been a Got busy that Horizon week. game. Yes, yeah, so there's been lots lots to talk about. And Kong Skull Island was out. Oh, yeah. Neither of us have watched it. Did you end up seeing it? Nah, okay. Ah. Did you hear about something with that? I did. Yeah. 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 Okay. We both know. We'll leave so. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I we'll didn't know. It. It's a spoiler, know so we don't want to yeah, say it to people course. who haven't seen it. Of course. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Busy week, but we can kick it off with some tech. Um, not too much, but one thing I wanted to talk about is because we've got our hands, we'll get our hands on this, is the Oculus Rift. The 3D um, thingy. The 3D Oculus Rift VR. So basically, there's, there's three guys uh in in this kind of battle of vr and there's uh playstation vr actual guys they're just outside. actual guys they're <laughs> named they're yeah. named oculus and playstation and <laughs> they just got hired that'd yeah. be funny just to kind of have three of them just fight it yeah. fight it out whoever oh, wins worries. gets to be so, the great vr ruler <laughs> but yeah there's three of them so there's uh, playstation vr which is like super popular and everyone you know, is so many people like is near 60 million people that have a playstation so so they say getting the uh, yeah they've lied with they've lied figures. before it's just the people at sony and they're all fake it's all nsa so. that's who's in sony <laughs> <laughs> they hacked them uh yeah so playstation and then you've got you've got vive which is from steam so steam is a popular basically steam is a lot like xbox live and playstation station network so it's like a little hub for pc games where you can connect to yeah, yeah. and download all your games so it's like s- netflix for games basically yeah well instead of streaming you're just downloading them and okay. to your computer but, so you got that but they've got their own headset called the vive which is like super popular really good they teamed up with htc to make that headset right so that's headset's been out like the same time as the other guys and then you've got Oculus Rift. Oculus Rift, it has like a huge name behind it because Facebook bought them. So right. Facebook own that. Oculus Rift. That was like Rift, a yeah. bajillion dollars they paid for it. Oh yeah, it? it was crazy. But like there's been, they've been in the news recently with like, uh, they've been sued. People saying that they've taken technology here and there. And they actually, I think, I don't know the all the details, but they, um, the people that were suing them won. And they, they like got about, I don't know, it was a crazy number. At least $50. Um, it, was, it was like 500 like is it billion or million like it was a lot it's, <laughs> you <laughs> but, know it's uh, a lot when you can't tell the difference if it's a mi- but, it's- but the funny thing is for Facebook it was nothing it was just like a day they yeah. found it down the back of the sofa you know so like we got sued again yeah, yeah. sure whatever we have, like, a, we have a fun for that it's easy but uh, the reason why I'm mentioning it is uh, we've got our hands on one so we'll be able to try some out um, physically right now we have our hands on one we're just like we fought that guy it, so. for it and he's yeah. dead he is so dead. it's now ours. his name is playstation yeah no. it's like highlander you kill him and then Boom. you get his power in the face oh, that, that'll be <laughs> hilarious it's like heroes as well wasn't it um was that guy from heroes siler was it siler spock no well spock <laughs> was the actor yes but yeah. S- siler it was siler siler and wasn't he could siler. take powers and you can just when he killed someone, he took the power. I think yeah. it was Siler. You take, eat their brain or something? Someone can correct us in the comments and yeah, say like... Someone's going to be like, you don't know what you're talking idiots. about. That was season so. two, they corrected that. We have our hands on one. So we're going to be able to play some Oculus games with the Oculus Touch. And we're going to get it like all Sounds set kind of up. Weird. Um, with the touch. With the touch. I've got the controllers. Yeah, it's just controllers. Touching Oculus them. Touch sounds like you're going to do something slightly <laughs> illegal. <laughs> Well, I mean, sometimes you could. Sometimes you could. Once that headset's on, anything, anything goes. goes. Uh, but there's some crazy demos. It leads on to the next thing I was going to say with Oculus. Is, um, I've noticed a trend happening with films. So when a film comes out, usually if it's a big popular film, uh, an Oculus or a VR experience comes out with it. So some examples are um, The Martian. So when The Martian came out, there's a Martian VR experience you can download. Right. And you are aboard the station and I think you crash land and you're, you're basically on Mars and you get to feel what he's like, you know, just, just down on you this like, alien, alien planet. You get to feel Matt Damon. We're back to that. Well, that's, that's, the, yeah. that's the lawsuit, right? <laughs> you know. 
what other ones there's mission impossible mission impossible had a one but it was more of a stunt but you know when he was hanging onto the side of the plane in yeah, the last yeah. mission impossible and then uh, the plane was taking off and he was hanging yeah, on yeah. you could do that in oculus rift you had the headset on and they would actually blow a fan at you as well so oh, you okay. felt like you were doing yeah. that so that was but that was more of a like a stunt Whereas the Martian one, you could download yourself. So we can even try the Martian one ourselves. Okay. And then there's a new one, John Wick. So John Wick's coming out. Oh, God. What happens John there? Wick this is going to end where, de- terribly. I think like lots of, it's like target practice, and you've got to hit them all in the head because he hits them all in the head in the film. Yep. So they all come around, and it's all about your accuracy. So like I said, you've got the touch controllers. So I could just go and fire like crazy. Yep. But if I'm not hitting them in the head, and you are, you've got more points. Right. So that's kind of cool. But they are linking it in with the films. But there seems to be a lot... And I could be wrong, but I think there is one for the new Alien as well. Oh, I don't know. for Covenant. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know if it's like a... I think it's just like a mini experience. Whereas I know we'll hit later on about... Uh, well, I guess we could talk about it now, but... The, we don't have any alien, plans for this crap. Yeah. There is no there is no organization <laughs> There's going nothing on happening here that's in any way. We're just rolling. We're yeah. rolling. But yeah, the plan is now that we've got you know, this Oculus, we yeah, want to... Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. We're going to be watching Prometheus before Covenant. And then uh, we're also going to bundle I'm gonna st- that. No, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to tangent there. We're going to sure. do another commentary tomorrow. So we'll be out we next are. week for Doctor Strange. Yeah. So there. Now you can go back to your tangent. Oh, sure. See, All we right. don't need a plan. We'll just go where we want. Oh, yeah. You're really going off on one. No, it's just because we only, we only just released uh, the Wolverine. And everyone seemed to like that. So we just thought, well, we'll bring out another one for Doctor Strange. Because that's just totally. out on DVD. Yeah. Yeah. And, we're, and like we have we have things to say about that film. Yeah. You know, we liked it. I don't um, know. But we might... When... It's May is when Alien is out. I believe so, yeah. So we'll probably wait until April, end of April, and we'll release Prometheus. Yeah, so it'll be like a nice little uh, triple Prometheus Covenant review. And yeah. uh, and so what we're, what we're planning on doing is strapping this Oculus to our heads, yep. and we're going to play Alien Isolation, the game. You're so not allowed out. It's strapped to your head. We will be filming it. The doors it. are locked. We're going to be filming it. You're going to be able to see uh, Rant and myself. Yep. And we're going to be freaking out big time. Oh, yeah. And maybe for extra laughs, I might strap it to my wife's head as well and <laughs> get get some get some stuff going. We might do like... I keep wanting to say infrared camera, but I don't. I mean, green... What's the... The night... Just night the night, vision. Night vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's my English gone again. Use, so. Infrared is the predator. <laughs> I know, I know. That's what you want. Use so. like, that would be incredible as well. <laughs> and there is another one of those coming out. And I'm sure they'll probably they'll have, definitely a have one for, they'll that, have one then, for yeah. that. But it is a trend I'm seeing that they're doing that. There that are, would be awesome. There's a couple the Oculus and an infrareds, everything around you. Yeah. You'd be that like, would be great. Hell yeah, I'll give this a go. Yeah. Um, I was, I've been like kind of reading up on Oculus a lot. So uh, I'm getting it set up in my basement. But this is, I, I found this kind of funny today because I was like, the only downside to it, because I'm OCD with cables. Like I want it to be all neat. My living room's yeah, nice yeah. and neat. You don't see cables. But for this, the headset has a cable attached to it. And there's no way of getting around it. It's like attached to the back of the headset. And if you're an alien and you're freaking out, you might tangle yourself up kind of thing. Like it doesn't happen. <laughs> doesn't, that's really going to help with matters, isn't it? But, uh, it's coming! It's coming! It's, it's coming! It's coming out! I'm going I'm to go and get a drink. I'll come back and you've just hung yourself. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he went out the way he always wanted, playing alien games. But my... Um, you just need a staple gun, put it right down your back. And I was looking up, I was looking up, how, uh, so ways of kind of keeping the cord away. And some people are using like little uh, clips just to clip it to your belt. And then so it's like, kind oh, of, at yeah, least yeah. it's like kind of, but the one that I liked and everyone's really, uh, really kind of swearing by is that, and it works in my room as well, or what it will do, is that uh, you put the cable up uh, along the roof and then you just dangle it down. Right. So it means that it's dangling down and you can never wrap. I'm you definitely going to strangle yeah. myself if it's hanging from so, the roof. So, but the thing is, I've got little floor pa- uh, like ceiling tiles. So yeah. I could just hide the cable in there and then you could just have a cable dangling down with the headset. When you come come around in the next couple of weeks, it's just going to look like you're plugging into the Matrix or something. And <laughs> it's it's going to be gonna this headset waiting headset. for you. It's going to yeah. be like Cerebro with I know. Professor X. You just go in. I, the whole room is being painted uh, white. Oh, like that's, another, that's another experience. And just, that's another experience. Would be awesome. Can you yeah. imagine plugging into that? And you're in. Um, maybe you have to get into a chair, you know, to sit into it. And then you, suddenly you plug in. You're in your wheelchair, and you're yeah. looking all the looking at all the mutants. And That'll maybe, be the next stage. That's basically yeah. Google Maps. You can go yeah, around yeah. Google Maps, get down. But, That'll uh, be the future Oculus, where it's like a full body suit. Yeah. And then like it'll shut down your legs, so you can't move your legs, and you have to actually roll around <laughs> like Professor. That would be incredible. Because they have that with the. 
Is it a sensor pad on your chest or something? And if you get a hit in the game, it'll vibrate. Yeah, there is there is um, little backpacks you can wear and stuff yeah. that will do that as well. Yeah. But like the next generation will just be a full like if you get shot in the arm, yeah. it'll just shut down your arm and you can't oh, move man. it and stuff like that. There, there's like 360 treadmills out there just for uh, just for VR. So say if you're playing Call of Duty, oh yeah, and you want to run somewhere, you can just run on this 360 like kind of ball treadmill. Yeah. Um, they're still like expensive, but yeah. But well, that, I remember um, the very first ER ones that came out. They were like a little a ring. You'd, you'd step into it and then you'd close it behind you and then you'd stand there and you'd put the helmet on. It was a huge, big, clunky yeah, helmet. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, totally. But the, the ring was there so that you, could, you couldn't walk around the room. That's right. You would just very, It's very similar to that, yeah. Yeah. It's funny, actually. I was but reading... now people can just run straight into their walls. Well, yeah. So I was reading up on it and I was like, so how do I set this up? And you have to paint yourself like an area. So this is pretty smart. I quite like this. So you paint yourself an area. You say, like, this is my room. Yeah. And this is where In the blood. walls are and stuff. <laughs> this is where all the walls... This is where I'll be jumping and walking and stuff. Right. And then what happens in the game, and every game does it slightly different, but most games, they give you a very faint line of where your boundary is. So you're in the game, but then you can be like, oh, the boundary's there. So I know that if I go any far uh, beyond that, yeah. I'm going to headbutt the wall <laughs> uh, or something. But some games, when you get closer to it, they actually fade in your environment. So it fades in like an image of your wall kind of thing. Oh, so, okay. Uh, which I think is kind of clever, but obviously you don't want to be taken out of your uh, experience. VR experience yeah, yeah. and stuff because you've got your headphones on, so you can't hear anything either. Right. But yeah, I'm looking forward to... Uh, the to headphones in, in the, the yeah they're built in they're built in and then for, so for alien isolation we'll be playing with an xbox controller but for a lot of the other experiences we're going to be like literally picking stuff up with our hands because right. we've got the controllers this is going to freak me it's going to be good man i've been looking up so many experiences uh rather excited about this by the way yeah um there's the new one that <laughs> didn't came do any out. work today <laughs> just been looking up experiences <laughs> What can um, I do on my Oculus? There's a new one um, where you can go around the International Space Station. It just came out. And, oh, that's cool. And a lot of the... It's all modeled off the real space station. And the images and of Earth and of the stuff up there are from NASA themselves. Right. And this looks awesome. But yeah, it requires the touch controllers because you have to... Like, things are floating around. You have to oh, like, yeah, it's zero fiddle with things and shit like that. Uh, and yeah some guy was saying like how do I play this do I play it standing up or sitting down and some people are like I don't know I do a bit of both and you get in the bathtub just just float there (laughs) so yeah yeah you can almost get your little controllers you almost want to do that don't you but uh, so that's going to be awesome there's rock climbing where you go like super high up but I'm not a fan of heights so I'm, I'm wondering you have to hold on with your controllers because you're holding onto the ledge if you let go of your controllers (laughs) you let go in the game and you fall and you're and so many you games get strangled by the wire by hanging your, from the roof by yeah. your Oculus <laughs> wire <laughs> I'm just trying to think some of the other ones there's so there's so many like has cool anybody managed to create a multi multiplayer one yep, yet there's loads of multiplayer oh, yeah? ones so basically you've only got one but you're yeah. well yeah you're in it but then you're playing other people online in the same experience right, right. So but I mean like so in the room like say there are a few actually. Yeah, yeah like you were playing I don't know, Battlefield and like you were the driver and I was the gunner kind of Technically, thing. Technically, uh, yes, there are a couple. There's actually, I really, really like this idea. There's one where you are, I think you're like a big monster, but then you've got, say, like, so you're watching me in VR and I'm the monster, but yep. you can still help. That's easy to and do. And you're on like, uh, you're on a PC or an iPad and you're firing stuff at me. Oh, and okay. I'm, I'm knocking it away. So right. you, you're able to interact with me, but I'm seeing the VR, whereas you're launching the missiles. Yeah, yeah. I think that's kind of cool because yeah. because after a while you're watching, you're like, well, he's having all the fun. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I want to shoot him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but I think it's actually half the fun is watching someone else freak out. Yeah, to be honest. Um, there's Fruit Ninja, classic. And Fruit besides, Ninja. you can see it on a screen anyway. What you're watching. you can see it on a screen. Yeah. Um, and now just recently, so it's actually, no different than watching it. a regular so, person play a game. A lot of the time, I think the last year on some of them you wouldn't you weren't able to hear it on the oculus so you would just see what they're seeing but they always had the audio but yeah. now you can do the audio so i'm excited for the future it, so. isn't it because it just got it's me thinking good. that where i could control the one part and yeah. then you're on your headset and you've got like the game if like the next alien game yeah incorporated that you could be playing it in your headset and yeah. then on the ipad or on the playstation yeah i've got the little sensor oh yeah. you know the boop, yeah yeah boop. yeah and I can be shouting at you, like in the room, and like, watch out, watch out. And you, you can't see it in your headset. Oh, that would be great. You're just like, where is it? That would be is really it? good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, you're getting the the game experience. Yeah, kind of yeah. Thing. 
that, that's actually pretty good. You can we, we could almost do that because the way we could do that is you can probably hack it or I can like block it out yeah. in a game. Don't hack can, games, kids, but, but then, we're uh, definitely yeah, going to hack this then you one. can see it on another screen, but yeah. yeah. We should try and work that out because that could be quite a cool dynamic. Yeah, because I know they always had that little... You know what it reminds me of? It reminds radar. me of GoldenEye. That's back what in I was going to say, a little green radar in the bottom yeah, corner. But then everyone used to turn them off because you don't want to know where everyone is. It's yeah. like, turn radars off, you know? So that's that's pretty fun actually yeah i think the next generation of games when you can start incorporating the tech with like, yeah we've talked about this before how i just want to see more games where people are all working together yeah 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 that kind of thing of like battlefield does it but it's all like you're all running and shooting yeah but like the complexity is going to get up to the point where you could have like a tank crew mm. an actual like three or four man crew yeah they operate that, that and if one of those guys dies the tank isn't quite the same it can yeah. still run but it won't have a gunner or it won't like if it breaks down it yeah. has no one to repair it but kind of thing like that yeah because i know like you can get game you can get in like a jet and you can get in yeah all that but that's like generic stuff like, yeah you're yeah. just playing by yourself yeah yeah whereas if you start developing like they will they start developing a game where if you buy a particular dlc yeah you're a tank man yeah yeah, yeah you yeah. know and then you get to work with your three friends and you're working the tank and then yeah, when you totally. go online they're like oh shit that sounds These like the bloody are... game that you and graham were coming up with it is yeah <laughs> Shh, don't did, keep did you give it a name we're giving everything no up. i know no. <laughs> i think we called it spanner Sp- it was spanner <laughs> yeah. yeah it was just just some context on that we were drinking one i think christmas that's a lie and, uh, it was yeah Let i believe it was christmas drink here. but yeah there was there was many drinks and then um it either turns into well, it, t- it always turns into a rant, and we usually either rant about space and the universe and and how you know, how yeah, the hell what, what I don't know. Like on? I just remember one argument about the space and the universe, but another one went into a game, and it was like, what kind of game would you like? And then you yeah. guys went off on one, and you started actually properly building a game right yeah, down we're trying notes to figure and stuff it out. and yeah. you're like this is the kind of game I want and you were like yeah this would be awesome and what about this and like yeah yeah, yeah. and then suddenly we were like we need a fucking patent this and, <laughs> yeah. and uh, get can it I get going. up to Ubisoft we so all, talk we, to them. all we can tell you is uh, it's called Spanner and it's coming soon to <laughs> PlayStation 4 Xbox One name is probably to be decided <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just good to keep it Spanner yeah but that's it it's then memorable know what to look so. for. some of the other experiences for that um, VR just to kind of hit on some of them it's like this one just feels so right fruit ninja so oh, the basically one. yeah you had two samurai swords but because of the joysticks you're like you'll probably just be looking at your swords half the time yeah. like oh these are cool slicing all those guys there's loads of driving games so you can do like rally driving yeah. uh, we don't have a steering wheel but i can imagine that being even more awesome i'm still waiting to see that ace combat oh that would be sweet yeah. yeah i don't think there's any yeah there's no flying ones i know of no. on on the like, steam is there, right what, now what's the so. biggest oh, there is, full there is game couple, so. there are there's games like half-life 2 you can replay them all in vr right um there's those uh full games there's a lot of lot of just like mini experiences but yeah. like Al- that's almost enough for me like just to name off a few like there's this one called robinson and it's basically like uh jurassic park so you uh crash land on this like planet and then there's yeah. dinosaurs but it's like super realistic oh like really robinson nice graphics. Yeah. yeah so uh there's that there's everest you can climb everest yeah uh, i can do so that. it's gone someone's gone up there and and uh i think it's it's not video it's 3d graphics yeah. so you're actually going between that and the space station I'm, I'm like checking off my bucket list i know I'm doing it's everything crazy. What, what else we got here we've got yeah the space station one i mentioned you got thrills and chills so you've got like this crazy roller coasters like really tall roller coasters oh, yeah ones that go through cities like new york city yeah and they go do you, you like roller coasters up. I don't mind them, but I have to admit, like when, when it's I, going up, when when it's going up, even in VR, I'm just like, hold on, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, like, it's not good. I, it's just it's a height. Like yeah. in VR, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get sweaty palms. I'm going to be like, oh, yeah. shit. But really, you're just sitting in your bloody basement, yeah. almost strangling yourself. <laughs> so. um, there's this is quite cool. It's called Waltz the Wizard, but um, it spells, so it's a bit like Harry Potter in a way, but you've got the two hand controllers right and if you make a circle you make a spell but if you make a circle with a diamond in it you make another spell and then what happens is um, like you've got strange. someone you've got someone yeah actually very much yeah. like that um and you've got someone fighting against you i think it's more computer i don't think it's another person but he might fire a fireball you need to make zigzag this this and this to yeah. block it then you need to do your other spell to fire back at him right but it's all with motion and like so you have to remember like shit what was the fireball yeah. again uh, so that's completely different. Then you've got something called Tilt Brush by Google, and that is basically drawing in 3D. So it's basically, imagine MS Paint, but in 3D. So you can paint a tree. So it's like you're painting in, in 3D, like you're painting like the side, some bark, and then you're painting the branch, but it's as you're painting it, the stroke that you make is 
3D and appearing in air. And then oh, you can walk yeah, around yeah, I've the seen bloody that. tree. I've seen a guy draw a, a mermaid. Yeah. And then you, you can walk around the bloody tree because yeah. you, you can walk around the room and stuff like that. Like, it's just getting stupid. It's like, you know, when you had a sparkler as a kid and you yeah. do that. It's exactly, it stays it's exactly in the that air. and it stays there. And then you can save them. The and sparkler then, translation, so, is that something people get over here? Yeah, I think so. Sparkler. What else is it called? I don't know. Fizzy stick. Shiny fizzy stick. Don't put it in your mouth. <laughs> Fire rod. <laughs> Don't put it in your mouth. Don't put it in your mouth. There's lots of... Uh, I'm really excited to try this one called The Lab, which is... Uh, do you know Portal 2? Yeah, so yeah. So it's a mini experience of Portal 2. But port- basically, like a mini Portal 2 in VR, which can just be a head fuck shooting and then looking at the ceiling, but you're going to come, come down there or if I jump oh, through Oh, I there, get you. you know? Yeah, yeah. So there's like a... And that's supposed to be that's quite That's definitely going to make some people sick. Man. Yeah, we've got lots to try. So basically what we'll do is we'll try out and the ones that we're like, this is just incredible, we'll like record them and, yeah. and all that lot. do a review on and them then and like uh, you know like if the John Wick one's good you know seeing yeah. as the movie is quite new and current well, we can do something on that if the Martian one is good we'll show it off if yeah. they're not good we're not, we are not. We won't bother and we'll look through but yeah. for sure 100% Alien so if you see we'll a video on our in. YouTube about an Oculus game yeah. you know it's good or it's real shit and we didn't tell you and it, yeah and someone's freaked out <laughs> there's no plan who someone's freaked doing. out but it could be your first sneak peek at our faces unless you've actually stalked us on social media that's true like so, I have I yeah. posted your pictures all downtown like on The Lost Child have you seen this man he <laughs> took my Oculus Rift he took it he took it I can't um, wait till like, you know the game makers catch up with the tech because oh. it seems like once you get one of these headsets yeah all your game experiences go through the roof oh man I mean my only worry where it could be Mario you could go down the pipe go down the pipe yeah yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. yeah. you know what was I going to say my only worry with it and like we we haven't purchased it so we've got we've kind of gained this Oculus we stole drift it from the guy somewhere. that we killed we, yeah we've yeah. stolen it uh, is that it's rather anti-social it's rather anti-social <laughs> so it, it is and I'm like a little bit worried like I don't want to spend my Saturday just hooked up and then suddenly it's like oh it's nine o'clock yeah like I'll get some dinner watch a movie and go to bed you know, like you want to see the outside, especially this thing set up in the basement. <laughs> so it's like, I haven't even seen, uh, I'm a little worried of that. Like obviously this weekend I'll try it out and I don't mind that happening. But yeah. like just on a normal weekend, it's like, what did you do? It's like, I was, I was plugged in, yeah. you know. <laughs> so, but I'm not worried about really for myself so much because we've experienced real life. But for kids growing up with this stuff, like it's only going to get better and better. Yeah, if you're a you've six gotta, year old and you stick this in your head. You've got to be careful of that. You know? You've got to get one of those Nintendo things you know like clock it off like the app you know uh, you got an hour in here and then it switches off yeah you know like that's a smart thing with the switch from nintendo yeah oculus coming to rant and bollocks we're going to be doing some cool stuff yep probably kicking off with alien and then uh, go from there but there could be some other other experiences we'll as see well. what good ones pop up on the list exactly yeah and uh if you guys have any that you want us to try and so you basically know, if al's not here good, next week so. we know he found a really good one i've strangled myself. and strangled himself <laughs> i just love that it's going to be dangling from the roof and we'll see See how my wife feels about that. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah so that's that's kind of like a bit of bit of tech there. And then we were we were talking about gaming there, so we might as well just like kind of venture into the gaming. Oh yeah, because one of us has been playing games all weekend. One of us has been playing games, and the other thing with here is uh, you've tried out the Nintendo Switch. You've actually tried it out more than I have. That's you're, true. You're yeah, I got a quick little me, go so. on it, and it's yeah, it's good. It's a good yeah. little fun. Yeah. What did you thing. What did you think of it? It looks good. Yeah. How did it feel? Like? But I would have liked to see other games. Yeah. Because I think that game might have been designed to maximize what it can do. I think it was. Yeah. And again, I didn't get to play a lot, so yeah. There's no There's no but review the, of it, but in terms of like playing, it's very simple, very straightforward. The quality easy to of the control. console, I thought, like usually Nintendo are kind of like a little plasticky yeah. white plastic. Hey, it's for kids, but you know, but this console felt like this is up with like a premium kind of phone or ipad kind of you yeah know, quality. exactly yeah it looked slick it was like the dark dark plastic and metal oh yeah it doesn't look out of place beside an apple product. yeah the sticks and everything like not good quality there was no none of this like white shiny yeah. plastic going on and then the screen looked nice and sharp as well so yeah because yeah. i only saw the handheld thing i didn't see it projected on it to a sure. full tv yeah, yeah, yeah but for what it was walking around portable it looked yeah. great yeah i can see um after playing it and after like holding it and stuff i can see why there's hype around it i mean it's a new nintendo console everyone's yeah. gonna like it i still wouldn't pay i think with zelda in canada i think it's around 500 dollars with tax after you've oh, got zelda so but uh there's a few things on the switch list here this one i really like i don't know if i mentioned these are all coming so no just talking about the switch in general so oh, did okay. i talk did i talk to you about the, the games this is the how, first time we've ever met so 
I've never, yeah. I, I don't know. even know where I am. I, like, to, I came into the wrong room and you just told me to start talking. Well, you know, I'm a friendly guy. Yeah, so. except for that guy you killed to steal his Oculus, you well, prick. Yeah. He's hanging in the corner. So. <laughs> the Switch games, Nintendo, again, they're they're going on the, the whole uh, kid-friendly uh, thing here. Well, kid-friendly. The games, they taste bitter. Did you, do you know this? What? They've actually put a bitter coating on all the game cartridges. Right. I kind of want to go out there and get, get one so we can lick it. Um, <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm not joking. But they've done that on purpose. Between your <laughs> Oculus Touch yeah. and now licking Nintendo cartridges, you're giving away some weird fetish here that no one else yeah. has ever heard of. Yeah. Well, He's getting real turned on by what consoles. We're all about. Yeah. what we're all about here. But yeah, they've got a bitter coating to them. So Alex the plays the Oculus naked. Look, we're putting it out there. That's how he does it. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. Actually, um, he does I, mentioned, play naked, yeah. I mentioned it to a few people. The first thing they said to me is like, "Oh, you got to try porn." And I was like, <laughs> I, I, I did stop there, and I was just like, "What?" I was just yeah. like, and it didn't even cross my mind. But they're like, "Yeah, you got to try porn." It's like it's so it's so revolutionary new. You know, revolutionary. It's, yeah, it's it's like what the hell are you talking about? You thought you knew so, what porn was, but no, new. <laughs> So Oculus that, porn. That's crazy. But although to be fair, that is how the DVD beat the laser disc. Um, that's the the old. It might be urban myth, but there's yeah. a lot of fact behind. Is you know when it was laser disc DVD? Yeah. Which one was going to be the fr- front yeah. runner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. DVD was adopted by the porn industry. Uh, that's right. That was so actually all the porn uh, companies made DVDs and said laser discs. It was Betamax and VHS, and Betamax was Sony, and then they and did VHS, VHS was, yeah. and Sony said we don't want to be situated with porn yeah um, and then they said okay we'll we'll go to a vhs and yeah i heard the same thing. yeah that's so, vhs one because of porn and then dvd one i had because a of porn. bmx going growing up and they were always better quality and yeah. i could notice it not by a hell of a lot but you could notice um and yeah. i remember a vhs and i was like oh and betamax were smaller tapes as well yeah like it just seemed like the neater system but uh yeah apparently that's what i had yeah. is porn, that's what the market spoke and the people wanted it that's crazy man but, but uh, um, I don't think I don't think Sony and Rift and Oculus are gonna. <laughs> I think that's gonna. <laughs> they're not gonna be trying to win that market. No, not so much. But uh, we'll we'll give a review. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. But yeah, these cartridges, man. I wanna I wanna taste a bitter cartridge at some point. But it is a smart move on their behalf because you've got like your Kids, three year old so, yeah. and he's ejected the switch cartridge by accident and then he's like, Oh, I'll put this in my mouth and suddenly it's like blah it's like what the heck is this? Yeah, you know? I get you. So but there are gifts around the net where people are licking them and they're like, Oh god, yeah, it's not good at all. <laughs> so I just was like, Oh, that's a smart. I just wait for the guy so, who makes a YouTube video like he's making dinner and yeah. he, you know, puts the cartridge in the dinner. Yeah, yeah. Need a little bit of bitter sauce. Um Dre actually put it Dre did it here so yeah. um, one of the guys at work has got a Switch that's the one that we played and uh, Dre was he, he read about that so he was like oh can I can I have a little lick yeah <laughs> and he was like yep <laughs> this is fucking shit so uh, but I, I just thought uh, smart smart little choices from well, the like you said, like between it. that and their their limit their time limit on yeah. the gaming they're obviously it is kid, kid, kid friendly market, yeah. yeah so they know what they're aiming for they're hit, yeah they're hitting it well they still should have brought out more than one fucking game though well I mean they've got I think there's Bomberman and I think there's one other one but Bomberman, Bomberman's awesome apparently Bomberman is like $80 or something it's an expensive game it's like come on for Bomberman like, yeah, you can get people... that on the, the, the Xbox I Live for like it, it's a five... rem- it's like a remade one with like new graphics and stuff no still, but it's still so. it's Bomberman I know I know how many times can you like package it up you yeah know? Bomberman Z- ZX Turbo yeah like you were telling 3. me like Super so. Mario 3 always gets re-released wait for that oh god if it comes out and they ha- they don't honor eighty dollars, yeah. If they don't honor people's, you know, the fact that they bought it earlier on, that's just going to start riots. <laughs> Another thing Nintendo have done, they've got like a Pro controller, so it's basically like a Xbox or a DualShock Four yeah. PlayStation controller. So you can buy one of those if you if you're a pro and you want to play all Nintendo games, but with one of those controllers. Right. So the controller anyone can buy it, and it's see through. So it's actually slightly see through, and you can see the circuit board on it. Oh, which is nice. kind of just a design design decision but right above i think it's the right thumbstick is when you see through it it's actually got a message for gamers saying i can't remember the name uh, what it says now but it's just like this is for all 
the gamers or yeah, yeah. You know, it's basically like thanks for buying the controller but yeah. it's cool it's actually written on the circuit board of the controller right so I love that Nintendo are doing all those little easter egg and like little things like that yeah because that so, yeah it's a good it goes um, a long way and it's like when they when when they made it they were like oh someone's bought this someone's paid $70 for this controller they've already because it already comes with controllers yeah. so it's like an extra purchase to do that and then they've got like this nice little hidden message right above the thumbsticks it's right. like cheers mate you know yeah kind of thing like that just a cool little touch i like it how hard is it to so. hack these games for oculus by the way because uh, i was just thinking nintendo we, i don't we, think you can do, no not nintendo but like but. it was playing the zelda game yeah and that seems like it's kind of designed for you know you could put an oculus yeah system into that yeah is it um, easy to do it or is it like a, a pain in the ass i think it's a pain in the ass because you have to get it running on a pc to start with right um but however that being said the Wii, there's a really good emulator on the net which emulates the Wii. So you yeah. can basically play any Wii game. This is illegal, but you can play any Wii game on the PC. And someone went so far as to make every game or most games VR Oculus as well. Oh, so wow. if you know a Wii game, you can make th- you can play that in uh, in Oculus. So I never even thought about that because some people are playing. I think it. I think it's uh, whatever the Zelda came out on Wii that was quite good. People are playing that in VR. Ocarina of so Time? I think was that it, it is Ocarina. Or is that N64? I can't remember. I'm not a huge Zelda fan. No. so But it's one of them. And you can actually play it in VR. But obviously, half the thing with VR is like, I guess, the graphics and the experience. So when you're playing Zelda, it's like cartoony. It's still cool. Yeah. But I think with like this Oculus, when you're playing Walk the Plank and you're on a skyscraper and it looks like a real life. Yeah. That's where you start to be like holy shit, yeah. I'm not in my living room anymore, yeah. you know? So, But yeah, like we're, that's something we should take into consideration when we're doing the Oculus. Like maybe play Mario 64 or something. Yeah. You, know? you never know. Well, what was on the Wii? There was like the Mario Battle Bash uh, Brothers? Or yeah, Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be interesting. Yeah, play that in 360. Like smashing oh. Bowser up like first person. But that goes back to your point of if you're playing this, not now, say in five years, and they've developed it so you can play Resident Evil yeah. with the headset on, yeah and you're 10 years old yeah like you won't really be able to tell the difference between the outside and the inside yeah it's true it's very true and uh that like like you get the games running now on your pc at whatever you know 60 frames or yeah yeah whatever and they're running at such a fast rate 90 frames on that sorry i'm just yeah this is the geek coming in because you need you need to have a high refresh rate i think i could even be wrong but i think it's the refresh rate's like 120 hertz yeah i think it's like needs to be 90 frames per second to be believable for your eyes but what i mean yeah so what i mean is that the games we're playing now on a static screen yeah they're like 60 frames are nearly photo real yeah so once you jump that up and you get to the point where you can move your head around yeah if you're playing battlefield or oh, battlefront you yeah. freak out i know that's why i'm just touching on that just for all like like the tech guys out there that's why vr is such a you need a really powerful machine for VR because the reason why is so Battlefield One on PlayStation Four yeah. runs at sixty frames a second. It looks you know great, but it runs at sixty frames on VR. You need it to run at ninety frames a second, and it needs to run at twice the resolution. The reason why is because the way VR works is it splits it down the middle, and you actually have two. You basically have two screens. One eye is looking at right, one screen, yeah. one eye is looking at another screen. It's like 3D so, projecting. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And you need two of those rendered separately. But they're both being rendered at 1080p. So they're both being rendered at like the same. Right. So each eye is being rendered at the same res as one of your screens. Yeah. And it needs to run at 90 frames a second. I could be wrong on that. I, I, I know it's higher than 60. Because when you move your head for it to be believable, 60 in, in VR isn't enough. Yeah. You need it to be silky smooth because yeah. as soon as it starts you're taking out the experience yeah so that's why you need really powerful machines you need a machine that can run two screens and at higher frame rate so that's why pcs because you can upgrade them and stuff and they run good yeah but that's why playstation has a little criticism against it because it's not quite powerful enough to do that so what they what playstation does is it lowers the graphics yeah so it's still got the experience but the, yeah. the graphics are a little bit lower they're a bit muddier so it's still a cool experience but as soon as you look on a pc it's like sharp yeah you're like holy shit so you know, in like is, five years awesome. when we've got 4k 4k it'll be, in each it, eye it'll be 8k for this thing yeah in each eye you're gonna have probably like the lenses are gonna go around so you'll be able to yeah. you know you won't see any um tunnel vision and stuff like that. Yeah. It's, it's it's the future that's the scary it's part like if it's 4k full around that's yeah. just like looking out the window i mean what yeah we're probably realistically looking at like 
I don't think our eyes would be able to tell much more than like 8K, maybe an eye or something. I think 4K so, color and know, 8... Actually. I think 4K is the maximum, re, not resolution, uh, range of color you can see or something. Right, yeah. Like beyond that, the, it, there's no discernible difference. Yeah. Like if someone's trying to sell you a 5K TV, yeah. there's no point. Yeah, yeah. And it's also to do with your viewing angle with all yeah. these TVs. Because if we're looking at a TV which is three feet away from us, yeah. you're, you're so close. But um, yeah, if you're... If you're looking further back, like a 1080p TV further back could look really sharp for yeah. some people, you know. So, but yeah, so that's that's gonna be pretty interesting where where that tech goes. But yeah, it's gonna be scary. That's all I know. I know. It's scary is. to play and scary to watch. We'll find out. Because like you said, like everyone now, they all have kids and they see their kids playing on their phone and they're going, yeah. whoop, whoop, whoop. and they're like, oh, it's crazy. Like I can just give my kid my phone and and they can go through it. And the future of VR is on the phone as well because yeah, phones are just getting more and more that powerful. In. You yeah. can slot it in. You got no wires. You know, yeah. right now you VR the wires. Let it go. They'll yeah. make a Bluetooth one eventually. Anyway, anyway, yeah, the next <laughs> next version is definitely yeah. wireless. But well, uh, yeah, the next yeah. one's going to be wireless, smaller, yep. lighter, yep. and like 4K. Exactly. Yeah. That's and that's and once you've that, that is the next like, revision. It'll be the size of putting on like a, a, a goggles, and then it will be gloves. So you'll be able to get Oh, instead full, of the touchy yeah. things. Yeah. Right now it's pretty good, but uh, you can't do like high fives. You can do thumbs, fingers, and like a couple of movements here and there. Right. But it's so, like even the controllers are so advanced that when you lift your thumbs up, it can it knows how far because it's got little sensors. Okay. So when you, it knows how far your thumbs are and stuff. So it's watching you. It's bloody insane. Oh, yeah. God. It's going to be good. Yeah. It's going to be good. Well, here we are at the forefront with our Oculus or another. I know. A crazy, crazy, crazy old time with that. Back onto the Switch, though, because that <laughs> Switch, and that Switch is Don't selling... Don't you mean the Switch? Oh, yeah. Fuck. The Switch. It's out now. We don't have to sell it anymore. It sold, it's and like sold a million And that is a nice something. little uh, way into that it is selling really well. Yeah. Apparently, it's like one of the top selling consoles. It's not as quite as good as the Wii was, but it's it's up there, and it's doing really well. They've, You know, it's sold out everywhere, but, you know, when it's sold out everywhere, you, you can kind of almost put that down to marketing like they want it to be sold yeah. out everywhere so they probably didn't launch like millions they gave of units, like four you know? to each store yeah. yeah yeah. well I think they did I think sold out in every store what happened like, you released least 20 do you remember tickets. the week before we were in uh, you were in EB and so was I and, yeah. and the woman was on the phone and yeah, she was two like two different times yeah we yeah. were both there the woman was like what do you mean we've only got six yeah. and then she was like you promised us 15 yeah. and then uh, I didn't even know what she was talking about at the time but I had a feeling it was the switches yeah and this was like Wednesday before the Friday. And then and then she hung up the phone and I was buying something. Yeah. And I was like, is that the Switch? And she's like, yep, yeah, it's all gone wrong. Yeah. And she had uh, the dead yeah. look in her eyes of someone who was broken. But that happened, or that happened, sorry, on the Monday or whatever. And I think you went in on Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah. And then uh, she was on the phone again. She's on the phone again. And that time it was about, well, I didn't know how many they had. It was like, we're not taking reserves. Yeah. You can't book one in advance. There's no pre-orders. <laughs> If you want one, you got to line the fuck up. What do you mean he hung else. himself with his Oculus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's it's got to be selling well, and that Zelda game is pushing it. So, And one of my mates lined up on Friday. Uh, he lined up at 5 in the morning to get one. Yeah. Um, and Sold uh, it. he was super, was super pleased with it. And he showed it to my, uh, to my boss. And uh, my boss... Uh, he was like I want one of these and yeah. I think he was on Kijiji and going home that night like where can I get one where yeah. can I get one and they then, can't and then, and then, the, and then the, they can't sell them resell them yet can they people can people people get two or three and then they sell them you know and, and there's people what? out there there's people out there like that will be you know look at the iPhone when people line up for the iPhone but if no. they can't if you can't I throw if you, things at if them. you were to line up look at them I th- oh, it's like imagine like I had to switch and then it's like oh the bomber man it's free on the switch or whatever and then I've got it and you're like you're like I really want to play that yeah and then you're like it's out today I'm going to go down to EB Games and you put it in your mind that you want it right you go to EB Games ah we just sold our last one you're like Kijiji yeah and then you're like okay I'm going to I'm going to pay $50 more and then someone's like I want $100 more and you're like 75 and then suddenly before you know it You've gone insane and you've got the disease. Yeah. You know? You've bought it for twice as yeah. much just so you can play Bomberman. And Bomberman Instead isn't of waiting even waiting another another week. So, yeah. yeah. Well done, Nintendo. You know, I hope they put the pressure on. Uh, pressure I hope on. they bring out more games. So, I hope they do as well. Mario's supposed to come out later this year. I can see it this being like... This year. Yeah, I know. I can see it being like Christmas and by that time, like the system's got too much dust on it. Well, that's but, the thing. Uh, like everybody will have played the Zelda and Zelda's going to be it. done in another month. No one's going to be talking yeah. about it. No there's probably about, there's probably so. well there already is there will be a race on to see who can see all the levels and all the things someone's yeah. already done a speed run and completed it in one hour uh, less than one hour right so, so yeah. I think he just got that you know you can 
I'm just making this up. I haven't actually seen the speed run, but I know there is somewhere where you can get your shield or some kind of bag or whatever, and you can fly. <laughs> like, you know, you fly like, like a plastic that. bag. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I think he just got that, jumped at the beginning, and flew all, the, flew all the way across to Mordor yeah. and just climbed up. I think that's what he did in the speed run. I think it just took half an hour for him to glide across. Just to glide. Yeah. He can you imagine, had, can he... you imagine if Nintendo missed that? And they were like, oh. Oh. You could just glide across to Yeah, more, it's like, you know? um, I remember Assassin's Creed, and it was like the second one or something, and you had Da Vinci, and he starts making all these like tools and equipment for him. Like, yeah. why don't you just make that every time? Then yeah, I don't yeah, have to yeah. do the mission. What are you doing? He had like, he invented like a helicopter wings, yeah. and you use that to get somewhere, and then luckily it blows up, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can't use it again. I was like, just, just make another one, mate. <laughs> it's not like it was made out of crystals and diamonds, it was no, wood no. and pl- just make another one. And then he makes a gun for you. I'm like, well, I'm not using daggers anymore. And then the gun doesn't work. Everybody's like, oh, God. What are you doing? Yeah. And then I just didn't think it through. Someone just climbed to the top top of an oak tree. Yeah. And I was like, I'm just going to jump. And then they floated all the way. That would be great. I know. It's just like, we've missed something here. Yeah. So. Or there was like some back door that they didn't notice. It's like, if you walk out the bottom left of the screen, yeah, yeah. you appear at the people end of the level. Have, people have discovered that in Mario 64. Apparently, there's a hack where... You can jump into the corner of like a room and then he glitches. Yeah. He glitches out into like another room, yeah. which is like halfway through the game. And you're like, oh, Mario. Hello. It's like, how do people find this? I mean, I'm guessing it must be a by accident. Typical plumber, so. always taking shortcuts. <laughs> Pipes are bursting. <laughs> What's the other one? Is I guess the PlayStation. So yeah, I finally, I finally got one. Yeah. So I got the PlayStation Pro. Yeah. Um, you broke it already picked that up yeah dropped it as soon as I got out the shop yeah. it's like the guy from Australia dropping his iPhone <laughs> um, no picked up that picked up uh, Ratchet and Clank which is like a nice little Pixar kind of cartoony game and then that um, used to be out on the old PlayStation it did yeah they remade yeah. it so I, I kind of was in the mood for that and then uh, you actually picked him up uh, Horizon no so I, I loaded that up and man that's well, first of all the system in general the PlayStation Pro awesome I did have the old PlayStation so it's very similar to it PlayStation but, uh, 3? No, PlayStation 4. I, I used to have one. Oh, yeah, uh, you did, But yeah. it was like back when they didn't have any exclusives and I was playing PC more. And now I find myself more of a casual kind of game. I just want to turn on the PlayStation Play. I don't want to update games on Steam yeah. and shit and that. So, uh, but I will for Oculus. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so super, super cool console. It looks nice as well. It's now got like three tiers to it. Um, oh, yeah. So it used to have like two levels and now because it, it's pro, it's got an extra level <laughs> for the extra power. Uh, it runs everything like super, super smooth and slick. Um, but yeah, loaded up Horizon, and that is. Um, you gonna give a quick review of it, that's or crazy. Are you gonna save it? Just like a little, just a little like preview of. Uh, preview of the know, review. Preview of the review of the, preview. Of the, re- <laughs> of the review preview <laughs> deluxe edition. No, just just in general, it's like super, super amazing game. Like the guys, just a little background. The guys that did uh, that made the game Guerrilla Games. There are. Uh, right. Dutch studio, and they yeah. used to make a game called Killzone. So Killzone's always been with PlayStation. Nothing good and ever came out of the so Dutch. The Dutch, oh, I nothing don't know. good. There'll be a few few to argue with that. <laughs> so, so Killzone was always made as like kind of a uh, a reply to Halo. Like Halo came out, and they were, and then Sony were like, ah, oh, we need we need our Halo as well. You know? Halo, what's that? So, oh, you know Halo. I'll tell you. Beyonce, you know the. Uh, oh, that's right. So. Yeah, Halo, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they always wanted to kind of tackle Halo um, and have their own like first-person game, you know, Space Marines, all that lot. So they made Killzone, and it was all it was okay, but it was never it was never Halo. Halo always beat it, and uh, there's been like four or five Killzones, and they've been on like PlayStation One, Two, Three. They've been on their like Vita platforms, right? And then suddenly now these guys came out and they were like, "We're doing a complete new game. We're not doing Killzone anymore. We're doing." horizon yeah uh, zero dawn and like they made their own engine so they d- developed their own engine for it so they can basically have more control with like how the world looks and yeah. stuff and uh, they've been spending i think four or five years on it and like fuck man it shows like it's yeah. a really good game it looks great it looks great on the playstation pro runs really nice uh the characters the story like it all flows really really nicely right. like proper triple a game like yeah it was an 80 dollar game yeah and it's like worth every penny like you you can sink at least 50 hours into it and still have more to do right uh whereas like if you spend 80 dollars and you finish something in like seven hours eight hours you're oh, kind yeah. of disappointed yeah, you're like, what the yeah. heck you know but uh yeah so far so good i think i'm approaching like halfway i mean everything from the just just the story to the graphics to the way it controls you know is uh, is is bang on um, hopefully it doesn't drop off a cliff now you get to the halfway point 
I know, yeah. They just gave up to like, ah, fuck it. No one's going to play this long. I won't, I won't give like, I've mentioned it a few times, I won't give like a full, full review, but I will give like a little, you'll have like screen video captures of me playing and yeah. just basically my favorite bits and my favorite things about the game. Yeah. And I'll save a video for it, but if anyone is on the fence or thinking about buying it, boom, do it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it definitely is worth it. It's like the... I'm hearing as well from other people uh, that have played uh, Uncharted 4, which is PlayStation's biggest game. Yeah. I'm hearing it's like up there of that, like if not It's the top better. of the top. Yeah, it's, it's the dog's bollocks, basically. Right. So, uh, so yeah. That's, if, the, that's your official recommendation. Yeah, the dog's bollocks. Horizon so. Zero Dark 30, dog's bollocks. Boom. So cool. more, more on that. And, um, and some other little indie games I've been playing as well. But, uh, but in general, like super, super happy. Oh, and one other thing to mention of Horizon. I didn't interrupt you. Why did you act like I interrupted oh, you? Oh, and one other thing. Oh, one okay. more thing. Hang on. So, let me just get another word in. Hang, is, on. Uh, hang on. Wait. The... No, hang on. Hang on. Wait. No. One more thing. You. Okay, go on. <laughs> um, apparently it was it's their biggest uh, new IP so new IP is when they bring out a completely new game internet uh, president so internet president okay. yes it's new it's internet president Sony's biggest new launch of an Fantastic other game jobs. since uh, I think uh, since like Uncharted or something so when oh, it cool. so it's so it's that kicking shows, the shit out of Zelda it's just kicking shit it beat Zelda in its first week yeah well, it was but I've heard that to. Zelda won in, Zelda, had, you have to Zelda won in Japan to <laughs> yeah 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 it's true but Zelda won in Japan yeah that's, that's that's true because Horizon launches and you've got almost 60 million people that can play if they yeah. want whereas Switch launches and you've got maybe 300,000 because yeah. that's how many consoles and when it comes out so. everyone has to review the game and the console mm. no one's reviewing the PlayStation when it's, know, yeah. Horizon comes out yeah exactly but yeah, Sony are just doing re- things really well. They've got plenty of games. There's so many games for me to play in, in their list. There's one thing I've got. So on the weekend, I was playing some PlayStation. I was playing Horizon and a couple of other games. Terrible. What and, an awful um, day. I know. Just awful. And then you have to come into work and then review the Oculus. Oh, man. I was tempted to <laughs> buy another game. I was like, oh, I, I wouldn't mind playing this game. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I need to finish some games. Because yeah. that's that's my thing is like, I might have like seven games. It's your OCD. And then you just like... You can't just have the wire dangling. Yeah. You can't just have the game I need finished to, there. I need to unlock the achievement of ding, it's yeah. done. You know, that game's done. So I've done two so far. Uh, my wife's playing through another one. And uh, we're just like slowly ticking them off. And then Horizon, like I said, about halfway through. Yeah. And I'm just going to start, you know, keep on digging at it. Yeah. But... Um, but yeah, that's so. I'm gonna be buying games as I as I complete them. I'm not gonna just have like a library of ten or fifteen and like say, oh, I've only completed ten percent of each of them. So, yeah. But yeah. So. And there's a big summer of games coming out. I know you were telling me oh, that. Yeah. So we'll yeah. have a lot of fun with that. And it sounds like we'll have some Oculus I'm ones just to live explore in your as well. House every weekend. It's the only way we're gonna get the through basement. all this stuff. Yeah. The cats will. will they, they will make me one of their own. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that covers about the gaming. So that's it, which goes nicely into two weeks. People been waiting <gasps> for your review. No, it was cool. I'm I'm glad you liked it. Well, there is. Yeah. Did you at least get two controllers? Yeah. So, oh, I've got three. I've got three. There's only me and you. So. Who else is gonna play? Well, there's... we'll just have a spare one when I break the first one. That makes sense. Good thinking. <laughs> exactly. Good thinking. Exactly. Yeah. So we'll go into our movies. Yeah. Or we movie. Will. The movie we both saw Logan, didn't we? And we haven't talked so. about it since we've seen it. Well, we'll talk. But so. you must like it because you went to see it again. Oh, yes. You're better than me. So this is what I'm liking about this is uh, Wait, I don't, so I don't know your say, thoughts. I don't know your thoughts. Before anybody goes into the thoughts or anything, yeah, full spoilers straight out the gate. Yes, I think so. Because I, I think don't, so. like yeah, otherwise we can't talk about it. Yeah. So, but I know like some people do like a non-spoiler and then a spoiler. But I think we just need to talk about it. We're not reviewing it. it. It's been out for a week. Yeah. It's got the reviews. Everyone, if everyone has lasted this long, yeah, without the spoilers and they still care, yeah. I don't know what they're going to listen to us for. And we'll for. have the time codes in the YouTube and the iTunes. So yeah. if you uh, want to just skip this part, then uh, if you'll you want to skip able, the whole thing, do that as well. Just go right to the end. Click yeah, on the next one. Right to the end. Yeah. Go listen to Neil deGrasse Tyson or something. Yeah. Learn, learn some science. But hit subscribe before you do that. Yeah. So. Give, us a, give us a rating. Anything yeah. over four stars is fine. Yeah. So here we go. Full spoiler review, Logan. Yeah. So when did you see Logan? I saw it opening weekend on the Thursday. I mm. saw it on the friday oh you saw it on a friday yeah yeah oh yeah because so. i saw it on the friday and then i saw you on the saturday that's right yeah did you did i no no <laughs> wait oh no, 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 no i didn't no. you no. saw it on the weekend yeah i saw it on the weekend and then we that's saw what i was thinking yeah, then, yeah I, then, I knew i'd seen it before that's you, right, and i was like yeah. am i gonna text him and ask him if he hated it and shit hit the fan last week and then we saw each other this weekend yeah so nobody needed to know any of that that was just complete no, <laughs> tangential we just bullshit so i Actually, before we talk about Logan, do you want to talk about what was before Logan? Because we are I do, yeah, I was going to so, talk about it. Yeah, yeah. So, so another spoiler about thing. We're in spoilers. 
this is a spoiler in the spoiler so if you want to skip this well, let's, spoiler. Talk, let's talk about even that other spoiler no, the before spoiler that. for the spoiler. I'm going before before the spoiler. It's right. because well, we we're spoiler both... in for this because some people might not have seen the spoiler. We're spoiling. That's true. Right. I'm lost. <laughs> no. Anybody listening what to this, I'm talking no, about. Anybody listening to this bit is fine with a Logan spoiler. They might not be happy with a spoiler with, for the other thing. Yeah. So this is a spoiler for firstly Alien Covenant. Yes. And then, do you want to spoil the other one? Uh, and then Deadpool. And too. then Deadpool. So, so yeah, yeah so. like yeah, if you don't want to hear those spoilers, I'm not as concerned ahead. about Deadpool because the Deadpool two teaser is actually on the web because it's a proper. Oh, teaser. that's true. It's yeah. a proper teaser. It's yeah. not like a part of the film. Yeah. So it is. First thing I just want to talk about is because on our last podcast we mentioned that we weren't going to watch Guardians of the Galaxy or Alien trailers. Yeah. And then we were basically forced to sitting in. I <laughs> so, was going to get up and run. Guardians of the Galaxy was the older one, so that was okay. Yeah, but, but then still, Alien came up and uh, and and the trailer came up and I was like this looks different yeah and then so I was watching it I was and like okay we only just talked about they released that like five minute <clears throat> that's right which getting we loved. to know the crew yeah, yeah I loved yeah. it so we were yeah I was watching that um, I did have a little concern of it which I've raised with you which was it was starting to look a lot like Prometheus that's what I said on the first so, trailer and you said no I love it no it There's was an alien out not the as back. much yeah yeah so that was a bit odd for me and then I watched um, it again Sorry. Oh, you watched it again? With, uh, well, uh, oh, you with saw my brother. It again. Yeah, I saw yeah. it again, and my brother saw it, and he said right at the end, I wish they didn't show the alien. Like at the end, yeah. headbutting her. He was really upset by that. Yeah. He was like, they shouldn't have shown that. And I, and I, I, I agree, actually. I think everything else, because they showed glimpses of it. Because they haven't shown the alien you know, until then. Uh, yeah, but in, like that tra- little... in that trailer, they showed like little dark pieces yeah, of yeah, him here and a, there. But then, but then they right full at the end, them. full on light, headbutting it. And I was a little let down about that, but I'm still I'm still pumped. It was a cool moment. But you yeah. kind of like for me, it took I, away from the film. It took um, away from the film, and I yeah. watched that trailer half. I kind of put my head down and didn't yeah. look, but I could hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I did look up near the end when it happened. And, oh yeah, and I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Because it's like with any trailer, <laughs> I could just see you in the cinema. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I really was You're like the alien. The, only reason, I, the, the only reason I couldn't get out of my aisle is because there was two people fucking standing. Otherwise, mm. I would have walked out. Oh god! Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, and th- th- I was gonna say they showed something that, to my mind, I can now. S- it's like you were saying. I now am waiting for that moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, so and it kind of looks like, like yeah. towards the end of the film. To be honest, it definitely, it definitely so, looks because the ship's they're trying off. to take off. Yeah. yeah. So they've gone and ruined it. We're not going to watch it anymore. So <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm, are, I'm but... still pumped, but I have to admit, the beginning, like even the setup, I'm like, this. They could just put the Prometheus music on yeah. and put the Prometheus credits yeah. or like titles and you'd you think it was that film there and he's still so, i know yeah. i know but you know what like i'm just a sucker for those films and i'm yeah. I'm, I'm good with that like well, you'll, i'm you'll like, be happy better with not the news be today because so. ridley scott came out said he's gonna or he would be happy to do more sequels oh i didn't i didn't i didn't hear about that he said yeah i'll just you know i'll yeah, crank nice. them out i'll do That's i'll awesome. do loads of them so if you're happy with alien and it's yeah. fine and well, this is the weird thing because we both like prometheus yeah. So the fact that we're worried you about not as much as me, but no, we'll I, find we'll find out we'll in our find commentary. Out commentary, yeah, commentary. But I, yeah. when we when we both saw the trailer for this one, it was very different. I got pissed off and you didn't, but now you're getting pissed off and I'm kind of like yeah, oh, I showed too much. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I don't know how I feel because, like I said, I didn't I didn't fully watch the goddamn thing. I've just been like spoiled and annoyed. I was, I was Every- half mental case with like yeah, finger in the ear. You're like and- you're like my brother Greg who um he'll like plug his ears because he doesn't want to yeah, see or hear anything. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Like, you know? I look like a mental or I mean I was in the cinema. By I could have done that actually. I don't know why. I, was, I felt like I was forced. Like my head was like just like locked that. in. Yeah. yeah. The funny thing was I was watching it and then. Because I was watching Logan with my wife, and then uh, I looked to the left, like when it's when the trailer start to ca- kind of kick off. Yeah, and she was just like, "What is going on here?" Yeah, and then it finished, and she was like, "So you'll be seeing that with, with Paul." <laughs> you know, it's just like you'll be seeing that with yeah, him yeah. because I'm not I'm not going anywhere near that film. We'll so. get her. We'll get revenge. So. She's going to be playing the Alien Oculus. Isolation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, she asked me the other day. She was like, "Are you really going to strap me in?" I was just like. <laughs> If it's as funny as I think it's going to be, <laughs> yes. If you get some some views for yeah. us. She gets scared just by the so. game starting up. Yeah. Just actually, I mean. Just press start. Where, yeah. Where's start? Because oh. it's, it's officially licensed game yeah, yeah, as well. So it's got the um, yeah. music. Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah. I don't no, know if that I was. I thought that was quite good. It also sounded like a swing that was bent or something, <laughs> but it could have been the alien. That was the original score. He just went to I'm gonna try and do rusty it. playground. I don't okay, know. Go, I don't go, know go, why. Go. I feel like I can do it. Nah. 
it was kind of horny. I want you to edit in the real. Okay, sound. yeah, I'll do the uh, yeah. yeah, fine. And we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> You're just gonna edit in something, some other theme tune. Yep. Furious Eight or something. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm glad it's coming out. I don't want to see any more. And if I do see something come up on the with trailers for other films, yeah, because now we're I'm gonna, I'm gonna close my eyes. It's like so. I told you, we're in trailer trees. Oh, man. trailer tree. trailer three, <laughs> trailer tree. Yeah, because they did tree. that with Kong, unfortunately. Yeah, Kong, and then they showed like all these bits where where, where I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. But yeah. I feel like if I edit the trailers together, I've seen ten minutes of the film. Yeah. So. And there's bits like Alien. I know I've seen a bit of the end of Kong. I know I've seen a bit of the beginning of Kong. And, yeah. You know, this, this, and that. Ever, to- ever, ever, ugh, ever since you told me about the third trailer thing. You've noticed it. Oh, man. Yeah. Everywhere. Like, everywhere. Yeah. And you've got a thing with, we're kind of going off a little bit, but with uh, Wonder Woman. Like, yeah. They, they I showed, I, I haven't seen that. Cause you I'm, haven't seen it. And not the third one, but um, I know you tweeted out. Is, there, is anyone worried that she's only said like five lines? Yeah, and it's so. even in this trailer, what I've noticed is she doesn't say a full line on camera. Mm. Like you get a little voiceover. Yeah. And then it goes to her saying the final half. So she's like, I am from the island of. And yeah. then it cuts to her saying it in the clip. Yeah, yeah. But there, I, haven't, I haven't seen her say one full sentence. That's nuts. And I'm like, okay, there's a bit of comedy in there. And then I'm sure. like, wait, no, the comedy's because of Chris Pine. Yeah. And then there's a little bit of drama in there. It's like, no, the drama is because so of her mother. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I'm really worried because everything that they do to try and make her look great, like she walks up out of the, the trench and she blasts and all that. I was like, but that's easy to do. Sure. You could put a monkey out there and make it look great. <laughs> like, I'm not, that's not a, a slight against her. Like, well, that, that's coming that's out, it. Rise of the Apes. Yeah, like, so. that's it. All you got to do is have the great CGI guys and they'll make a big explosion and they'll mm. have the whip and you'll have slow mo and all that. I'm like, oh, great, brilliant. But if she can't do the acting of making you give a shit. Yeah. And this is a thing about, I talk to people how English actors are usually better than American actors simply because English actors work on stage Mm. so they've more experience creating things in their head so when you put them in like a cgi fest with lots of green screen they can deal with that a lot easier sure so with these kind of movies where she's a god on a magic island with crazy women fighting ancient gods like a lot of people can't make that believable yeah and that's what i'm worried about is like she can kind of look like it but look the part but can she act it yeah and can kind like, of bring it bring it forward like the good example there is like chris pratt like yeah you think about what he's dealing with is a talking tree and a fucking you know a beaver yeah, yeah. you know a little raccoon guy running around <laughs> yeah but at no point do you think he's playing it stupid yeah like giving the wink to the camera being yeah like, no, oh, I mean, you know you yeah. know guardians this is fun isn't it yeah but at the same time he's able to you know have real emotional bits about this totally yeah yeah and I, i'm worried that uh, Gal Gadot she can't do that yeah and they're kind of cutting around the fact that she can't deliver a line what other films has she done apart from Fast and Furious literally couldn't tell you so, one right literally couldn't tell yeah, you yeah, one yeah yeah and she's just a pretty face in Fast and Furious so, yeah you know but they must have signed her onto that role for a reason unless it's just literally a pretty yeah. face like you said but I, I hope I hope we're wrong I really do you know, because so. Wonder Woman she could be a real great icon for a lot of kids sure. a lot of girls yeah and it's the first female superhero movie all by itself mm. before captain marvel comes out for marvel next year yeah which is just gonna trounce it probably i don't know anything yeah. about it but i'm sure, it is. I'm sure it's it uh, brie larson so. the girl from kong skull island oh it is yeah, yeah yeah i've seen seen a couple of screenshots and she's so. like she's an oscar winner yeah so she can act oh interesting and it's not again i don't want to shit on gal gadot but i am no. worried that we're I think you've got a very, I mean, you you know your stuff. And I think, um, because like, I haven't talked to you about it either, but when you tweeted that, is anyone worried? I'm like, actually, yeah, I'm rather worried. Yeah. You know, it's like, that does show a lot about a film. It's like, that basically says that that film's going to be a lot of CGI explosions. Yeah. Cool, cool shit. Yeah. But no actual real story or acting because she doesn't need to because they're going to make explosions. They've got Chris Pine and he's got charisma and he can hold a film. You know, he's Kirk. He's done it for two. I think he features quite a lot in it as well. A lot in it. You'd think so. Which to me is two problems that is like, he's not the character is called Wonder Woman and B, he's dead. They're all dead. It's yeah. World War One. I. I know. It's basically doing a Captain America, yeah. showing his life, and then he yeah. gets iced and, go, and gets iced. We haven't seen it yet. I, maybe you've seen it. Have you seen Assassin's Creed yet? No, no, I haven't. Uh, my brothers have, and, and uh, said it was uh, pretty good. Yeah. And then that random guy on a train. 
Oh yeah, yeah. The random kind of train. So my that, thing yeah. for it was, I'm just like, why do why do I give a crap? If we're just looking at his memories, yeah, from 500 years ago, yeah, they're all dead. But everyone's. Can, but every- isn't Assassin's Creed can't he like alter it because he goes back into time and he can do? Something? I don't know. If I think can, that's what Assassin's Creed is. I think he can. The game he wasn't like it, that. The so. game was oh, just no. The game was just you playing yeah. your memories, and yeah. every time you died in a memory, yeah, it breaks the link, and then you're back in the real oh, world. Shit, I didn't know that. And then like I that, thought it was like altering time or something. No, you don't change time because okay. it's about trying to find something through your memories. Uh, okay. So your ancestor knows where it is, right? And they're using you to, to gather the information, gather the information, yeah, and yeah. find this magical thing, right? So I think because, that's the yeah, movie. Technically, if you kill that person, then you don't exist. And yeah, it exactly. Messes with everything, but yeah. Oh, time um, <laughs> don't get me started on that. We can have like a five-hour uh, podcast just on time travel. Yeah, my last video. We'll do that. Uh, my one latest time. video is on a bloody so. time travel. Well, of course, yeah, with uh, Terminator. With the with the whole alien thing, going back to the alien thing. Still pumped, but uh, I don't want to see any more. Don't want to see a third trailer. Don't want to, you know, having it look a little bit like Prometheus put me off, but still, still anxious. So, and then what was after Deadpool? We all saw it. When did you know it was Deadpool? That's, that's, did you know right right from when it was walking by, uh, behind a hoodie? No, because uh, it was weird because it just came up from black. Yeah. So I was like, it could be Logan. Yeah. But then if you, you see what he's walking towards, you see the cinema. Yeah. And Logan's on the thing. I'm like, oh no, it's, it's something. It's Here's a little thing. I didn't notice that until the second run that even Logan was on at the cinema yeah, slash yeah. there was a poster there's a poster that's what I saw I was like yeah. oh wait no this can't be yeah. a movie my brother pointed it out he was like oh this is Logan there yeah. but it was funny because it started and it went to black and then it was walking and then my brother uh, he, he doesn't talk th- during films it sounds like he does but he just looked at me and he was <laughs> like he looked at me and he was like this is Logan and I was like maybe <laughs> like that. But, it's, um, but yeah and then obviously takes the hoodie off but yeah. in, in our cinema uh, it was full when I watched it the first time and when it took it off everyone in the cinema was like oh yeah yeah they were a super, lot of people were happy super happy to see Ryan Reynolds yeah and uh, and then obviously the whole so how did they get the Superman music nobody knows that's that's a hard that's a good one that's a lot of money to spend yeah but at the same time no one's giving you that money or no one's giving you the money to pay for that because yeah. you're Marvel I know why would they give you Superman music yeah yeah that's what I was wondering yeah it's been a uh, what did you think the, of it anyway it was, it was the whole fun thing. It was I, great, I thought it was it? great like to watch and then I yeah. thought about it and I'm thinking oh they're still being very original with their marketing yeah because right. that's not a trailer yeah no no I know yeah. but everyone's talking about it of course yeah it was like I said before it's like all it, it it doesn't show you anything from the movie yeah but everyone's talking about yeah. it because it hits the, the character and, it's, and nothing in that has anything to do with the movie. There's I know, yeah. Like a couple of references to Nathan Summers and just know. a little teaser because yeah. at the end of it, it's just like, sorry, it should have been a bit quicker. He goes, um, if I was Wolverine, I would have been. Yeah. I, he only wears a fucking tank top yeah. and jeans or whatever. He's like, so I it's like been two all, seconds. yeah, it's got so. all the meta things of Ryan Reynolds it, has a and Deadpool's you know, always had a link with Ryan uh, with uh, sorry with Wolverine. Yeah, yeah, and they've all, had connections. them as actors as well have a connection. Exactly. As well, so, yeah, and they they play that and they've played that with their advertising in the last one where they made it look like a, a romantic comedy on the yeah. billboards. So I think they're just like, oh, we'll just use the same marketing guys. They yeah. nailed it. I thought the only thing I thought would have been kind of cool is maybe if like Stan Lee was the, uh, the old man or something. Oh, yeah. That could have been, Stan that could been cool, you know. But uh, no, I thought it was great. Awesome humor. And yeah. Then, and then even the end where it's just like Deadpool coming soon, but not soon enough. Just letting yeah. people know that, hey, it's not coming like next year. Yeah. Or, or is it coming next year? It is coming next year. Next year, it? yeah. Yeah, it's a but year away, but it's, it's, it's not coming thing. this year. Yeah, you know. Yeah, everything was just spot on. Like, uh, and it was great um, having that because, like, again, we got spoilers. There was no post credit scene to Logan. That no. was actually there, and we can talk about that later. But that was their kind of little. Here's what you get. Yeah, because they're both Here's Fox. What you guys get. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, both. Yeah, so. I say Marvel, but it's Fox only yeah, yeah. Marvel. And then yeah, that led into Logan. Oh wait, I can give you a quick. Uh, oh, yeah? There's a quick piece of news on Deadpool. They yeah, cast yeah. Um, one of the characters. Was it Cable? No, it... Domino. Domino. Okay. She's, but she is sort of Cable's girlfriend. Okay. On off in the comics. Yeah. And she was cast. I don't know the actress. She's from Atlanta. Okay. And the name escapes me right now, but they haven't done Cable yet, have they? they that's the thing. They haven't done Cable, okay, yeah. but they've done Domino, so mm-hmm. they. It's like, oh, Cable's definitely a thing that's happening. So. Nice. Yeah, he seems like a good enemy. I don't know anything about him. I looked him up. Yeah. After I found out he was going to be enemy, the enemy. non-enemy, whatever he is. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's perfect because he's like Colossus. Yeah. He's total serious, total hard man. Sure. And it's perfect for someone like Deadpool to jump off. Yeah. 
And no, they haven't cast anybody. Oh, nice. Anyway, on to the movie. Yeah, man, on to the movie. Spoilers um, within spoilers. Loops yeah. within time. Oh, we're all over the place. I Horizon mean, Zero Dawn, right? The That's first what we're thing, talking about. <laughs> the first thing that struck me was just like the typography. Just like the cleanness of it. Like it started with the with the car. He was sleeping in the car. Yeah. And then just like Logan popped up on the screen, clean, like yeah. you know, white type over yeah. over the thing. Like as soon as I saw that, I was like, This is art directed really nicely. Yeah. And I know that they're taking this in a good place. Yeah. I loved that when he got out of that car, his feet were wobbly. You know, like just yeah. like he didn't even get out with like his feet flat. Yeah. Like he literally got out with his feet like you know left and right yeah yeah obviously he was drunk but also that he was just kind of weary and yeah old you know but just that little for me that was like quite a big thing just a subtlety like, of you know, it. yeah just like oh shit he's not even got out of the car properly you yeah know? but yeah that what did you think of that scene that was i think that scene was exactly what the movie needed it to be yeah so if you watch that first scene yeah and you don't like it walk out yeah because that's, that's the movie it doesn't get bigger than that yeah like it doesn't have a big explosion at yeah, the end. Right. It doesn't have anything massive happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can get into that. But for me, I was just like, all right, this is great. Yeah. If you're if you're starting the movie like this, like you said, Logan. Yeah. And then you just have him in the car. Fuck. Yeah. And he gets out, and then he has this brutal fight with these uh, Mexicans stealing the car. Yeah. Like, all right, this is the movie. <laughs> and it's like some movies start and they have the opening scene, and like I'm obsessed with the opening scenes and shots. I think oh yeah if you don't ha- if you don't have your movie there mm-hmm. you don't have it anywhere else it's like with a lot of things you need to open nicely you need yeah. to fill in and then you I need to end really well but it's like the feeling like you said you saw this the simple typography yeah it didn't have a big swirling 3d it didn't need thing to have any of that yeah because so. that puts your brain in a different place yeah exactly like you were you did the alien and all that like alien opens on just a slow yeah steady black and with then that sc- and then the with alien that music that yeah and you're like, this is the movie I'm going to see. Yeah. And I think that's a great director, guy who knows what he wants. Yeah. And yeah, like that scene was great. It was... Uh, and everything after that was like the same. It didn't, oh, it didn't go off. It wasn't top. up and down like, oh, no. oh, I want to see another scene like this. Yeah. Um, like well, to I, take a quick pot shot at something like, you know, Suicide Squad. Sure. Which just opens on like seven different things at once. Why would you have a go at that film though? Well, it's true. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> and the Oscar goes to... For Suicide Squad. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like it goes up and down. And it really does, like, well, yeah. What's, what's All going over on the place. here? Yeah. One of the things I liked about that opening scene was like, yeah, they were like kicking the shit out of him. And he was like, yeah. obviously cared about his car so much. And then eventually they just like whacked him onto the floor, kicking him. And then he was just like, the rage, you know? Yeah. And then suddenly <laughs> like, man, this film was R-rated. Like yeah. this made bloody Deadpool look like a Disney film. <laughs> like close to that. Yeah. And then he like ripped the guy's arm off whatever torn it off and then he like stuck it through someone's face yeah. as soon as I saw that even in Straight I don't know about your cinema face. in my cinema people were like oh like, yeah oh, yeah, yeah I think that's when everyone realised like I kind of okay, I kind of laughed in that kind of way of like brilliant. I love this yeah I know. You know that's what I loved about it it's like the brutalness of it but then that typography was just like Logan yeah you know it's just like as soon as I saw those things in that beginning scene yeah. I was like this is gonna be good yeah like I was I was like this is gonna be one of my favorite films of 2017 yeah. just from that scene you know I, I had faith that they weren't going to screw it up uh it went up and down uh, like uh, in bits but uh yeah like awesome opening scene so. so your feeling for the whole thing straight off is you liked it yeah straight off for yeah. sure yeah yeah so, one of your favorites straight off the bat yeah yeah but then i as we go through you know there was yeah, there yeah. was things here and there i would improve uh, or you know i would like to have seen more but yeah. yeah, I mean, o- overall, like, I mean, we can g- hit some other scenes as well. But, I think you uh, got the same feel as me. So. My feeling would be it was beautifully disappointing. Oh, yeah. In that, like you said, it didn't hit everything I wanted it to hit. Yeah. But I would rather the movie had flaws. Yeah. Than it was just trying to be another superhero film. If it had the flying text come in, sw- yeah, swinging exactly. around, and then fireballs and shit like that, and, and that kind of X Men film, yeah. I, I would have been annoyed because yeah. I've seen too many of those. And, it's almost an insult you know. to call this an X-Men film. Yeah, no, it's true, yeah. It's just, it's a, like for me, I'm a massive Western fan. Oh, yeah. And this is just a Western. That's yeah, all yeah, it is. Yeah. It's, just, yeah. it's just a Western. They even had the quotes in there. Yeah, and so. instead of guns, he's got claws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were, there were a few things up and down that I was like, oh, shit. What was... Um, and I talked about this, I was going to say, I talked about it before we saw it, that if they didn't end it properly, yeah, they ended it well. Yeah. But it didn't hit me as much as I thought. Okay. 
Well, before we before we get to the end, yeah, it, yeah. What was your favorite scene? That's what I was actually was so, going to say. Oh yeah, my favorite scene wasn't the end of it. We all know the spoiler. Logan dies. Yeah. And she does the, you know, when she puts the cross. Yeah, she puts it to her neck. Here's the thing that yeah. made me think I like this movie is she did that, and I didn't mm. laugh at it. Yeah. Because in another movie that would have been cheesy fuck. Yeah. 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 But that just finished, and I was like, all they right, can, they I, can pull it off. I don't feel as good as I, sh- not as good. I don't have the feeling I wanted when he died. Sure. I think it was a little rushed. Yeah. But I kind of forgave it all because, like I said, it was so close to being perfect. Yeah. That I'm like, I'm f- it's fine. Yeah. yeah I would yeah. rather you fucked up trying to make a perfect movie. I agree. Then yeah, if you yeah. decided, let's just make X Men five or seven or whatever it is, yeah, and make eight hundred million dollars. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. like, no. And that came like I said, my favorite scene and the scene that made me really choke up was when he was burying Yeah, I'm getting again again. I mean, yeah, yeah. When he's burying the professor. Oh yeah. And and he's 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 got like the he's got the shovel and he's trying to like he's trying to say something. Yeah, yeah. And, and he, he can't, can't, can't come and through, it was yeah. just Everything about that was just fuck. Hugh Jackman has to get nominated for something for that. Yeah, someone, to, someone to, mentioned just to that tell you a then. whole story. Yeah, without a monologue. Sure. Without giving you the big speech. Yeah. Like he wasn't like it was very beautiful and I loved him and he was my friend and breaking down and doing all that kind of like yeah actory shit. Yeah. He was just like no up, yeah. no and he wouldn't let himself go and yeah, then yeah. the the bit I loved is he leaves because she tries to take his hand yeah and he leaves and then he's smashing the fuck out of the truck bloody alert and yeah that's the thing everybody in the audience because like, <laughs> it relieves that tension it of, was so uh, emotional reminded me of Basil Fawlty yeah. I don't know if you remember yeah yeah it was hitting, like Basil hitting Fawlty hitting the car with a fucking yeah. stick or whatever and it was great because he's like going nuts <clears throat> but the thing that sold me on the movie's quality is that they didn't play the funny they played the joke yeah and then the camera went back to him yeah. and he's still doing it yeah 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 and it's, he hasn't stopped and then he you know he passes out yeah and I'm like that's good because yeah, yeah. everyone's like ah oh, thank god it was like this kind of thing you'd get in a regular X-Men movie of like oh that was serious let's yeah. stop and have a joke yeah and then it's like oh this isn't a joke this man's having a fucking breakdown yeah yeah he's got nothing left yeah yeah I thought um, so that's what yeah my favourite scene was just that like two that's, minutes it's, that's weird that you say that because um, uh, I thought that Professor when he died yeah and then he put him in the back of the van or yeah, the yeah, van, yeah. but truck. I thought that was too quick. That's what I, I mean. Thought, that I got I thought worried he des- then. I, I thought thinking. he deserved like more than that, yeah. <laughs> to be honest. So that was quick. And then the shovel movement when he was burying him actually stuck out to me because it didn't strike me as much as I wanted. Right. I was expecting to be a bit more choked up. Yeah. However, I was the second time I watched it. Yeah. Because I knew I think I knew it was coming and I was waiting for it. But I wasn't as choked up as I thought. Uh, right. with with that that actually stuck out to me just I was like oh um, as soon as that scene happened I saw him burying yeah, him and yeah, he was yeah. like well he's by the water and then he, yeah. I could you know Jackman was getting choked up when yeah, he was yeah. saying it I was expecting that to go on a little bit longer and I was expecting myself to be like oh fuck you know? yeah, but yeah. I never got that way and I remember thinking oh I think that scene could have been a bit better. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's just that. That was just me. And then I, I thought Professor. You know, when he got clawed. Yeah. Um. When just when he brought him into the back of the car, and then he didn't really say much. Yeah. And then he just went. Like I know it was quick, and he's an old geezer. Yeah. <laughs> but I just thought, I thought there was gonna be more to it. But then again, you don't want it to be cheesy. You don't want it to be no. Logan. Yeah, yeah. You know, survive. You know, you don't want any yeah, of that yeah, yeah. bullshit. But I just thought there was gonna be something else. So that would be a negative. But yeah. um. Uh, one of the things I, another thing I wanted to see more of, but I still loved, was the end where he took that green shit. Yeah, and he yeah, was yeah. back. So I loved that he was. First of all, I loved that they sh- uh, shaved him, so he looked like the he old looked like Wolverine. Uh, Logan again. Amazing, the old man. Logan, I loved yeah. that he was Wolverine one last time because you wanted to see yeah. him. Because the whole film, you saw him as someone else. Yeah, you know, he was Wolverine, but he was beaten yeah. up. But you saw him for that moment. My only criticism, I would have actually liked to have seen him five more minutes of that. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a bit too quick. But just having him run through the forest. Yeah. But he's in the forest as well. He's going towards Canada. That's where he's from. Yeah. You know, um, uh, you know he's a Wolverine you know, yeah. and all that lot. And then having the classic clothes on, he's got the young face again. He's got that for me. I was yeah. just like, this is so good. Yeah. I friggin' love this, you know. And then it wore off it was wearing off yeah. and then but then he was the leader of the kids and yeah. stuff like that like it was so good like really the, fucking good have you seen Unforgiven with Clint Eastwood 
Uh, no, I don't think I have. Like Jackman referenced that as one of the things, and that's okay. that's one of the best westerns of all time for mm-hmm. lots of reasons. Uh, I'll go into it maybe in a video or something one time. I love it. But that is all. The story of that is this old old legend. Yeah. Who does nothing for the movie, and all all, all that you hear is all these great things of like how great he was, how amazing sure. he was. Yeah. And then at the end of the movie, I'm not spoiling it. So it's like at the end of the movie, you see like how vicious and horrible he is. And that's like what I saw in Logan of like the comic books and the old stories. And everyone's like, no, oh, you're not what you used to be. And then for, yeah, that last moment when he, or not even when he's doing, when they're grabbing all the kids. And then just from the woods, you just hear this roar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he runs up the hill. I got fucking goosebumps. I was like, he's back. I know. He's yeah, back. yeah. That's what I liked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was just like, he was just like pissed yeah just like smashing through everyone destroyed and, everybody <laughs> yeah and then uh but i just would have liked to seen a little bit more i just yeah. thought he it worn off too quick like you saw him uh, yeah back as wolverine i think young wolverine. from the point that professor x got stabbed yeah to the end i would have liked that to be in about 15 minutes longer mm because I, I think i, I think they needed a little bit more scenes that's what i was saying yeah. about as disappointed yeah but like i'm not disappointed in this film this is still one of the best comic book movies yeah ever made yeah it, it, it was excellent yeah um, it's definitely a probably first class and this are the two best i'm X-Men glad movies. there's stuff that we can talk about because if it was perfect it'd be boring in yeah a way exactly. because you know you want things and it's nice that we yeah both got different things um for yeah. me for me the the it was just a bit too fast. Like when Professor X got killed, it's not the cheese that I wanted. It's just he he gets killed. Then you have the big fight with X-24. Yeah. And that family that they connected with, that's quickly that gone over. was bloody over. surprising, wasn't it? It was surprising, but I get this thing of like it, death is quick and brutal and it's horrible. Sure. And then they rush through the ending between him going to the doctor. Yeah. And then they find the kids. That was odd. Yeah. And then he has a fight with her. And then at the end, they have a moment together. Yeah, and I think it, it they didn't have that tiny moment where it switches in his head. Yeah, I like agree. the thing that I didn't quite get the movie hit on was at the end where he got the money off the girl. Yeah, I was like, everybody knows Wolverine wasn't doing it for the money. Yeah, like that's not who he was. Yeah, yeah. like sure he's a dickhead, but he's he's not that guy. He wasn't yeah. protecting this girl just for the money. Yeah, yeah. So when they tried to make that the point, and then it was kind of like, oh, will he go and save the kids or not? It's like. Of course, of course. He is. yeah. That's not the, that's not what I wanted. What I wanted was him and the girl, yeah, yeah, to have the moment. So when she says to him, or he says to her, "Don't be what they made you." Yeah, yeah. It just means more. It like, means more, and I don't yeah, think yeah. they quite got enough there. Yeah, I agree. And as the well. same with like the kids of like my first worry was they were gonna do not worry, but I thought, oh, he's gonna become like Professor X now. Sure. He's gonna take the kids and start his own school. Yeah. And that would have been like the normal thing to do. Yeah. And they didn't do that. Yeah, yeah. And then I thought, well, they're going to have him defeat the bad guy and, you know, or not the bad guy. You know how, what was it, Rice, mm-hmm. the English actor from Whitnail and I, mm. he was talking about how everybody was, uh, not everybody, the mutants died out because they put something in all the liquids and the, the, That's right, the yeah. energy drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, of course, you have the, like the background, like in the, the world, the farmers beside this giant thing that's like Masanto. Inja tech or whatever it is that's mm. like destroying the crop not destroying the crops genetically modifying crops yeah and there's this whole background corporation of evil and i thought okay they're gonna they might do something with that and then i remember when they're on the road and the big huge trucks nearly hit them oh yeah and i yeah, thought yeah. oh are the trucks under control and they're trying to kill these yeah, guys yeah, yeah. but they didn't go down that route they didn't go down the route of like wolverine saving the day and he's going to save all the mutants and bring them all back sure so that was fine yeah but it still rushed that final like, oh, here's X twenty four. Yeah, he's an evil Wolverine. Yeah, they did, definitely rushed him. Yeah, r- rushed him into it. I was confused by the bloody trucks as well. I was like, I didn't even know they were computer controlled until they said after. No yeah. yeah, yeah. That was uh, another actually really great scene. Was that was that family? And then uh, yeah. I like I liked all that. But my favorite thing was that just every went everything went tits up. And then yeah. the dad at the end drove through the X twenty four. Blew him away, and then I loved that he tried to kill. Tried Logan. to kill Logan. Yeah, like I thought it was perfect. Yeah. I was like, and then like obviously no bullets and stuff. Yeah. and then you could see Logan was just like, yeah, go on, yeah. just shoot me. I, there was some. I don't time, even know. I don't even know. That's the thing really about the scene. film. Like I said, I'm beautifully disappointed. I don't know how to fix it. Yeah, usually I know how to fix oh, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah but yeah. with this, I'm like, the dad's had the the father of that family's having problems with like. The, the dickheads from yeah. the corporation yeah and they have a standoff and then that guy makes a mistake and x24 goes mental yeah 
and then the dad kills him and then the dad's dead and, and everything goes to shit and I'm like it's a it's a western that all yeah. makes sense to me yeah but it's just there was something that just didn't fit yeah. so when yeah after and he's burying the professor yeah and he goes to the hospital yeah and he meets the kids there was yeah. just something missing. yeah I do agree actually I'm not sure what it is either but I, do I don't agree. know what There's it is and I think it was just time small, I just think it but, rushed yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I think that might have just been either they didn't know exactly how to fix it. Sure. Like the one of the weirdest moments for me was when Wolverine sees X-24 come down the stairs. Mm -hmm. And he sees himself. And they just have this stare off. He's more concerned with the professor. Though. He is. And, yeah. But it just seemed really static. Yeah. I was like, this doesn't seem right. Yeah. He seems the kind of guy who would just kill this fucker you know who just go yes for him and, or something. yes and no though because you gotta you gotta remember how old logan is and how yeah, much yeah. he's seen yeah. he has seen a lot of shit but that's what i mean like if so, you've seen as much shit as him yeah you wouldn't be that freaked out i think seeing he's a clown. so concerned by the professor yeah that he that's why he ran up there because when i watched it a second time i was like hang on a second you'd yeah think you've seen it twice like, you'd, probably... you'd think he'd stab him in the neck at least or whatever and then uh get his daughter at least yeah. you know free but he, Maybe it was just he the ran, blocking, just, like it, just the way they stood right in front of each other, yeah, yeah, and then walk it did, around. No, it did, it did happen like that. But I mean, yeah. I think the way I don't think they did it as well as they could have. But yeah. I think he was just so, yeah, his in his mind, he's like, everyone is dead. Yeah, professor's up there. Is he dead? Yeah. You know. So I think his mind was just like, I've got to go yeah. up there because he just forgot about his daughter. He you literally see, chose is, professor over just his daughter. Just as we're talking about this, this is exactly so, why the film's great. Yeah, because we're not talking about oh plot holes. Or things we're talking about like emotional things yeah, like yeah, yeah. why is the character doing this what totally, why yeah. would he do that and you know yeah. that's that's a good movie yeah, yeah when you're not just like why wouldn't he just put the box in the fucking corner you know that kind of thing like, <laughs> there, there is a, a plot hole in this film but i don't give a shit there's a couple of things i noticed the second time you you might have noticed the first time but was when professor x was saying uh, I saw the the Liberty Statue of Liberty. Yeah, and he goes it was to X Men One reference. Uh, yeah, but you know what he you know what was actually the Liberty. I don't. Did he say Statue of Liberty or did he say Liberty? Because I think oh, he I just said tell you that. because you know the motel where he picked up the girl. Yeah, it was called Liberty. Oh, so was I it? picked that up the second time. So I think Professor so you're X. You're stealing my job, Dick. So, <laughs> so you know Professor X. You know he said like I've seen. So I've seen a mutant yeah. and I've seen this I think that he looked into the future by you know like by um, right yeah you know his mind's old he can do that yeah, but yeah, he can yeah, do yeah. that but his mind didn't really know what it was doing yeah. so you know when he said I think he might have probably said Statue of Liberty or right. maybe just Liberty I think it was Statue then, of Liberty because I remember it was like well, I know, a reference I know, to like, the original I know Logan says that was a long time ago yeah but I loved that it the could motel, be the, the motel, motel was yeah. called Liberty, and then when he, but then uh, you could see Logan or Hugh Jackman. And he was looking at it, and he was just like, mm, "Oh, I like didn't that. catch that." That's so a nice I think he thing, looked yeah. at that, and it was like Professor like knew that these. So people what? Were uh, here. No, what's happening? Yeah, I think what's happening there is the Professor is old and senile. Yeah. So he's 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 scanning. He's finding the mutant. Mm -hmm. He's seeing Liberty. Yeah. But his brain is thinking Statue of Liberty. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I thought that was really good. Um, and then I think everyone saw it, but I loved it was when they were burying or they said goodbye to Logan. The, yeah. the kid was carrying the. Uh, uh, actually, my brother never saw it. But did you no. see the little kid? He was carrying a Wolverine, the Wolverine toy. Yeah, that was so in good. the classic blue the classic and yellow blue, and black. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, fantastic. Yeah, uh, that's just a great little thing of like this is a real world. Yeah, it felt like a real world. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh yeah. And um, I like the fact that there was this big corporation and it doesn't get fixed and it doesn't yeah. get solved. And we don't know, we kind of know why the mutants disappeared. Sure. But you don't have this big thing. The, the bad guy, the bad guy is saying, yeah. oh, the mutants disappeared because X, Y, and Z. Yeah. And he just cuts, shoots them, you know, yeah. and kills, starts a fight. Like there's nothing in this that's, it's kind of the, the flaw and the brilliance of it. Nothing's drawn out. Yeah. But some things could have been. Correct me if I'm wrong, but in the comics, because I think I read this, that Wolverine went mental and like killed a bunch of people. Yeah, but like in this, this film, the, yeah. it was Professor. Everyone's Rose. probably heard that like it's based on a comic called Old Man Logan. Sure. And yeah, in that comic, Wolverine kills the original X Men in a rage. Does he not like kill like Avengers as well or something? I don't know if he kills Avengers. I, he I, definitely saw, kills... I saw a screenshot of like Captain America and he wasn't looking oh, too good. Well, in the comic, or is that something else? What happens in that comic is it's a it's a wasteland in the future, New Mexico kind of thing. Sure. Where he's gone to live because of his his horror and all that, and the the the, the supervillains have won, and they've split up America. Right. So like all the heroes have gotten killed except for Hawkeye's in it. Okay. And Hulk is in it, but Hulk isn't you know doing the best either. 
So everyone's thinking, oh, they're going to do Old Man Logan. But you can't yeah. do Old Man Logan because uh, Fox Studios don't own the rights to any of those characters. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but in that, like, Captain America gets killed by Red Skull. Okay. I think Doctor Doom owns a part of America. Like, huh. they split up the whole world. Like, yeah. it's one of those things of, like, why don't all the bad guys just work together? <laughs> and in that world, they did. Right. And, yeah, it's, a, it's pretty cool. And it's that kind of just him on a trip with Hawkeye trying to solve a little problem not sure. like save everything yeah yeah I like the version they did there I mm. like that western I like I just like the fact that the only thing we're worrying about is like man, what did he mean when he did this and yeah, did, yeah was that a thing and yeah we're not we're not pulling it to pieces saying like they did this wrong and it yeah. spoiled this you yeah. know or because they did this it was a knock on effect for this it yeah. was like no it, like it was it was awesome yeah and seeing it a second time as well was just just as awesome as well I yeah. thought I thought seeing it a second time so soon, I was going to be kind of a little bit like, oh, this scene's coming up. Yeah, uh, yeah. But I was like, the whole way through, it was just like, boom. Like, yeah. Like, love this, you know? Yeah, it's one of those great, not um, patience, uh, respect of the audience. Mm. Like, it doesn't answer some questions. Yeah. It just says things and leaves it there. Yeah. And there's no big, like you said, there's no big speech moments where he's, oh, well, this happened and that happened and now yeah, I'm yeah. happy. I was like, no. Do you think we're going to see a young X-Men? coming up yeah they've already started like the, I think it's the Dark Phoenix saga okay which is Jean Grey at the end of Apocalypse when she went all fiery and uh, bird yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 they're gonna do that again did you hear that they um, but the timeline's fuck so did you hear they cut a green um, Jean Grey scene out of Logan oh I heard so that yeah they filmed it so it'll be in the extras but apparently it was in there at the dinner table of the family or something oh was it so apparently it like when it, they're all a family it cuts to her for yeah. some reason or something like that but they cut it out. I'm not. I'm not sure why. But, oh so, I, no! Yeah. I heard there was at that dinner scene as well. Professor X talks about yeah, Jean's dead. Yeah. And Wolverine killed her. Yeah. And then they cut that out because it was just that scene was a nice scene and they didn't want to fucking yeah, they didn't make want it to mess miserable. It up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. Like even when the professor was like, "This was the most perfect day." Yeah. In a long time, and then suddenly he's, he's dead. Just like, you yeah, know, he's dead. When he's he says gone. that. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> never, that's, never be happy. That's what my brother said. He was just like, as soon as he heard that, he was like, nah can't be that good but even so, then the way they did it you're like oh fuck yeah i know yeah you were like does that really happen because as even, soon as as soon as the claws went in i was like and it's a dream yeah so that's me yeah. too i was yeah, like because yeah, yeah. and that's what i liked about it in that the filmmakers knew that yeah they knew what everyone would think yeah yeah, yeah. you're like oh he's having a dream yeah he got stabbed he'll wake up and he yeah. doesn't wake up yeah and then you see wolverine and my brain is just going a million miles a minute i'm like what is that he, did he shave his head? Yeah. What's going... Did he go mental? Is this a side effect? Yeah. Maybe his powers come back, but he... You know? And you're yeah. doing all this trying to put the pieces together. And then it, it starts to just slowly put them together. Yeah. There's no big, like, dun, dun, dun. Yeah. You're like, oh, Jesus. What a what a bitch of a movie to do that. Do we know how well the movie's doing? I mean, I know I know it's been reviewing... It was number well. one at the box office. So, okay. But it's expected that... Oh, what's out this weekend? Kong is going to take it over. Oh, really? Okay interesting but for an r-rated movie you can't really fucking piss on what it's done yeah no yeah but yeah overall man like bloody loved it can't wait to get it on dvd yeah we we waited in the cinema for some post credits but there were there were none so i no. that's what the deadpool was was like the i read up on that like why there weren't any there the, was no need cause there was no there was no need and he, he didn't want it he didn't want to have to do that because yeah. It's a superhero film. He's like, yeah. this is my film. I do what I want. Yeah. You know? So I don't want people waiting in the cinema like, for something just because yeah. it's a Marvel film. It has to have this, yeah. you know? So that it's, was pretty yeah, much his it's decision. It's definitely his so. own film. That's why I thought it was great to have it. In, yeah. Like, if you're going to make a movie, you've got basically two options. Yeah. And DC always take the crap option. Yeah. DC look... <laughs> no, but like, they look at another movie and they think we can do as good as you know we can do better than that yeah like if you're look if you're gonna go out there and you're gonna write a script tomorrow yeah and you look at batman and superman yeah or you look at green lantern and you think oh i can do better than that what you're gonna end up with is green lantern plus like five percent yeah you know or you're gonna get batman superman plus ten percent sure batman superman's currently rated at like twenty percent so that yeah, means yeah. you're gonna get thirty yeah, percent yeah which is still a shit movie getting shit but a little bit better is no good. Mm. But if you decide that you're going to try and make Unforgiven, which is an Oscar winning Clint Eastwood classic, and that's like 100%, you're aiming for the moon, and you don't quite make it, which this film does, it doesn't quite make a perfect movie. Sure. It's still 90%. You're still, oh, yeah. Like, that's the thing. Just aim for brilliant. Yeah. Instead of just trying to do better than shit. Yeah, yeah. And for me, this film is, it was a really smart move on the part of Hugh Jackman and the director. 
because they knew they could get away with more because Deadpool made so much money. Right. But at the same time, the studio has kind of turned around and been like, oh, wait, Deadpool didn't just make money because it was R-rated. It made money because they were allowed to do whatever the hell they wanted. Hmm. And I think, like you said, they didn't put a thing at the end of it. They didn't say, oh, put in the X-Men. They didn't say make a big finale or you know give us a good bad guy or yeah, can yeah. we get some merchandise out of this yeah and they said r-rated hugh wants to do it you're going to do it for less than 100 million mm. perfect do what you want yeah i know they were surprised when they put that down on the table and yeah. they were like yeah we'll do that so yeah. it was like holy shit so it's, it, if that's the way hollywood's gonna go it's great i don't want all the films to be r-rated yeah not at all like you can't that go make an R-rated Guardians or anything. No, 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 no. So. But if they're starting to just turn around and be like, okay, do do your own movie. Yeah. Like if somebody at DC turns around and says, we should do this with Batman. Eventually. How good would Batman Eventually be? it will happen and something will happen with DC and everyone's going to be like, this is the movie that changed it. And it's, yeah, you know, they'll, they're just on a downer and yeah. they just need to come back up. And it might not be for another two or three years, yeah. 10 years, I don't know. But eventually there will be a film and they everyone's going to be yeah. like... That's the you problem. Know. Like the next two films were already in production. Yeah. Before they learned their lessons. Yeah. So it the next to... one that's coming out, like I know it was a bad thing that Flash got delayed. Sure. And they dropped the director. Mm. But at the same time, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's they're like, fixable. oh, let's start. Let's start. That proper. might be the film to do it. Because so. what is it next year? Aquaman. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. So that one might be the one that they're like. That's kind of on the. Because yeah. nobody knows Aquaman. No one gives a shit. Yeah. They might just be like, all right, do whatever you want. Yeah. Like what a good actor there as well. So yeah, hopefully, Momoa. Hopefully well, he looks goes. the part. That's for so, sure. Yeah, yeah. So oh, I just checked it there. The worldwide for Logan is currently four hundred and forty million dollars. Wow, that's awesome. And the, yeah, it cost less than a hundred million. That's really 90, good. 95, 97 million. <laughs> that's awesome. So, so it's made four times its money back. Yeah, I think Boom. like that just makes makes everything better because now you're thinking, oh, if you make a smart emotional film, of course, yeah, it'll I make you money. I mean, not that Deadpool was emotional, but Deadpool was like a good... Uh, it was true to the character. A good example, though, that, yeah. you know, a low budget, but, you know, what yeah. people want to see. Yeah, like, super happy. Like, I'm, I walked out that cinema and I was like, yeah, th- this is this is bloody brilliant. Yeah. Uh, I've seen the film twice and I'm looking forward to watching it again. Yeah. We'll have to do a commentary. Yeah, so. I want to see it again. I might go see it. Uh, I'm not going to see it next weekend, but, like, yeah, I want to see it again. Yeah, because... You know, when you like a movie and you know what's coming, mm. you kind of can get used to it. Yeah. Again, it, it, it didn't do everything perfect. But I would rather what bitch does, about so. a movie not being perfect than yeah. sit here like moaning it could, that it, it didn't could have been do anything like, right. Ever since he did that in the film, yeah. it didn't make sense the rest of the film. Yeah. You know? It could have been something like that, you know. I, I think the best way of putting it, I just thought of, is there's nothing I would take out of that film. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'd like to see some more stuff in there. Yeah. But there's nothing in there out, I would yeah. take out. Yeah, that's a good good way of you know? putting it. When so. you see like a bad movie, you're like, oh, why are they doing this? Or why did they say that joke? Sure. Or why did they do this scene? Yeah. But with this film, like, all of this was great. Just needed a little just a little, little bit more. Yeah. But if anyone's listening that. and they haven't seen it and they've gone through all their spoilers, <laughs> it's really, really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's definitely worth a watch. It's worth watching in a, in a theater yeah. and, and, and spending money on a yeah. ticket. We might have bitched so. and moaned a little bit at it, but it's still... It's the best. Nothing's comic perfect. Book. Though. It's the best comic book movie, probably in the last five years. I think. Yeah. Like Civil War or mm. Doctor Strange. Like if that's your cup of tea. Yep. That's great. If you like the Deadpool, that's great. But this is something, all on its own. It really is. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Oh, I could, I for totally me, agree the closest that. thing this would go to is uh, Mad Max. Mm. You know, it's yeah, not yeah. for kids. It doesn't have happy joy all the yeah. time. There's not jokey jokey. Yeah. But there's a little bit of you know. Sure. So that's and obviously it's set in the desert, so <laughs> it looks the same. Good old western, like you said, mm. quoting the westerns as well. So yeah, Shane. I like yeah. it. Um, Although if people are out there going to watch Shane, I might say don't because Shane's outdated to a. It's oh, one of okay. those films that if you've seen it already, sure, it's great. Yeah. But if someone from you know the twenty yeah, twenty seventeen yeah. is They're watching a film like, from nineteen fifty seven, what like, is what this? A, like I was so. just I, I did my video lately, the one I'm working on is telling sure. me Do you know how old Bambi is? Bambi, no. You know no, Bambi. No, sure. if, yeah. if, if probably people don't even know what Bambi is. Bambi was made in nineteen forty two. Whoa. Do you know Lady in the Tramp? Nineteen fifty five. Wow. Those are old man. That is old as yeah, yeah. fuck, man. Because I think everything now you just see is remastered, so it looks new. It looks I guess, great, yeah. If you see the original old footage. So So I'm thinking Bambi will probably make after they do the, the 
not the Jungle Book, the Lion King. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're going all the way back. The yeah. Beauty and the Beast was out this weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm actually I'm gonna gonna going to be seeing that. Leo wants to see it. And I drag her to... Well, I don't drag her. She you gladly... You physically drag the woman she gladly, by the Oculus. She gladly the sees the Logan. <laughs> but uh, I did say that I'd go see Beauty and the Beast. And, you know, it doesn't look half bad, to be honest. Yeah. So, yeah. A little review of Logan there. Yeah. Um, Definitely worth seeing. It's got our stamp of approval, I'd say, for sure. I just had one other little thing was yeah. Thor now has short hair. <laughs> so beautiful Thor gonna, shaved his beautiful have, locks. He's going to have uh, short hair. So No, I was just checking through our letters and we just got people saying, yeah, Logan is one of the best superhero films they've ever seen. Yeah. It's one of the best films they've seen, period. That's awesome. And people love it. And it, it deserves it. It really does. Yeah. Hugh Jackman does as well. You mentioned some kind of like Oscar award or... Well, now the Oscars yeah. are finished. Yeah. He could now be nominated for the, for the next, next one. Do you see that happening? I would love to see that happen. Yeah, that would be incredible. It, so. It'll be really hard. Not, not just because it's a superhero film. Yeah. But because it's, it's so, so early. Yeah. It's now March. It's Oscar nominations aren't until January. Sure, sure. But that said, like, when was the last time you saw a superhero movie and thought he should be nominated for I know, that? I know. Someone else mentioned that to me today yeah. as well. So, yeah. like, I, think, I think it's kind of because of what he's in. Like, mm. if you're in a superhero movie with a guy with claws and a little girl with spikes in her feet yeah. and a magic man with his magic head powers making everyone freeze, yeah. and you can still do something that makes people really emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's incredible. That's incredible. Yeah. Like, I saw Manchester by the Sea oh, yeah. just on the weekend, yeah. which is an incredibly powerful film. Right. Like, emotionally, like, I, a lot of people might not connect with it. I did, and I'm just like, Phew. Oh yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't make you cry in a breakdown kind of way. It's just there's so much emotion in the acting. Sure, but at the same time, it's all about people in a real world in real situations. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the kind of thing you're going to hit. Like right. Denzel's doing fences, which is like about a couple. Yeah, yeah. Living in their house, dealing with their kids, you know, yeah. regular people stuff. Yeah, and I'm not saying acting is easy. No. But it was that idea of like English actors are better than American actors because they can get out of their head. Yeah. Like Hugh Jackman has to have claws and makeup and all this and act like he's a mutant and mm. but still connect and make a real character so good on yeah, it. it's great yeah. legend he's no one's gonna follow the wolverine up for a while no i hope not like I you were not, did so. you mention it last week like who would follow him and stuff i i just don't know who i, like, I, I don't, don't want to see it i don't after wanna... that i'd be like oh, i don't think anyone like it's even more so than like Batman, you know, like and and it, yeah, Ben like, Affleck, I think does I a think great older Batman anyway. But I know a lot of people saying that yeah. like Christian Bale, they were like, who can follow this up? Like Hugh Jackman, was it seventeen years? That's, yeah, that's what got me. I didn't think like, about that until just after I saw the film. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. he he was another interview. I watched interviews after I saw the movie, so I didn't run sure. out. And yeah. talking like he did this back in two thousand and X Men One. This yeah. is his seventh movie. Yeah, and I'm like. No one's ever done that. I know. It's nice. Like even James Bond has been like three or four movies and then you get swapped out. Yeah. No one's ever done in 17 years as a character. Yeah. And so was Patrick Stewart as Professor X. He was in the first movie. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, he's been in a lot yeah. of them as well. So remember we were talking about that Graham Norton show where they're all like, yep. this is the best goodbye we could give them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, probably is. I know. Now, now you can see what they're talking about. Yeah. So. I don't know. Like somebody trying to replace them is going to be hard. I think... Just leave it alone. Yep, for a little bit. Give it Obviously. five years yeah. and start again. Yeah, find someone else to. Because your X Men movies are fucked anyway. That makes no <laughs> sense. <laughs> I know the time travels shits. Yeah, really messed it up. So and it's just boring as fuck now. Apocalypse was. Oh, fuck. Actually, that's one that we can probably rant about because I really have no need to watch it in a pleasurable way. No. So yeah, we, we just, should maybe do a rant yeah. on that. Piece Actually, you really don't like that. Yeah. Yeah, I fucking, fucking hate that shite. one. Yeah, especially. Shite. Because that's Brian Singer who did the original X Men. Right. So he comes back and he fucks up the franchise. Yeah. Because X Men First Class was great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then they brought Singer in to do Days of Future Past, yeah. which mixed them. Yeah. So it was kind of like a mixed result. Sure. And then Brian's back in charge all by himself. And yeah. Like, you fucked it up there, Brian. You started <laughs> it all and now you fucked it all up. Yeah, yeah. There's an apocalypse and make him a pussy. God damn. Yeah, all right, we can rant about that film for fucking, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, one last thing. Yeah, man. I didn't get to do it last week. Yeah. Did you watch The Walking Dead? No. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm, You're out. I'm kind You're of done. out. I'm kind of out, but I do know um, I got told that there was a big thing that happened. Do you watch it? No, I Did don't. Did you watch it? No, much. yeah. Um, there was a big, big thing that happened last night. Um, was it the mid-season? So, no, I don't think it was, but it was like, 
it was one of the characters had finally fucking like woken up from the boring episodes that he was in oh and, great um, did they do an episode so, that wasn't boring yeah exactly that's so that's, that's, that's what you're aiming for with walking dead however i was reading about it so any walking dead fans um can comment on it but i just so i just read up on it yeah and it sounds like it was either the episode or they're setting the episode up for sasha to go so oh yeah because she's the actress she's gonna be going, the captain yeah. so she's gonna get on get on board the enterprise or whatever ship they're they're on all right so i read up on it because someone texted me and said like oh big someone said big death in yeah, walking yeah. dead so i was like oh okay and then one of the articles that came up was like walking dead preparing for sasha's exit or something like that so i was like i was originally thinking oh was it her that's died but maybe they're preparing her just to not die but just walk out of it somehow she's know, dead so she's probably dead she's they're probably dead. already fucking dead she's probably already i haven't dead. even seen the episode yeah but yeah but she is definitely on the way out all right so if anybody has yeah. any ideas on that send it to uh yeah. at i mean the bollocks. episode was on last night so yeah yeah, yeah. But yeah let us know yeah send it on twitter at random bollocks and i'll tell alex if you yeah. got it or Fun. send us an email. It's rantambollocks at gmail.com. Yeah. Yeah, we appreciate everyone listening in and especially on the commentary for the uh, Wolverine as well. Yeah. So. so we'd like to, you got a lot of great feedback or we got a lot of great feedback. Yeah. I got no great feedback. You got great <laughs> feedback. So we're going to do the Doctor Strange and we'll have that out for you guys next week. Big time. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for listening, guys. Yeah. Thanks for listening in and, uh, you know, hit subscribe. Visit their Patreon if you want these videos earlier and uh, all the other good stuff. That all we the do. other good yeah. stuff. Yeah. We got a, I got a new video up on YouTube, too, if you want to spend 45 minutes watching the Terminator movies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Don't God. do that. Goodness me. Yeah. And uh, next week, we'll also give you a quick update on what's happening. Well, we'll tweet you. I'll let you know what's happening with Al's yeah. Oculus Rift and if he's oh, yeah. dead and strangled himself. Just, just, just a, a gif of like a rope dangling so <laughs> it's just like yeah he's done he's had it and he's done yeah thanks everyone for listening it's thanks again, just guys. a great time to be alive <laughs> <laughs> boom <laughs>